show where we discuss all that's real and nothing ideal. Only on Styles FM. Good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody. And welcome to Real Talk. Oh boy, our world has changed, our world is changing. But you know what? Despite it all, we have not been given the spirit of fear. And we've not been given the spirit of anxiety. But we've been given that spirit. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Daddy Roo just did something crazy on outside. That, that has me cracking up. <laughs> I'll tell you later on what it was <laughs> or what it is. But <laughs> interrupting my chain of thought, um, as I was telling you, listeners, the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear, but he has given unto us a strong mind, a spirit of power and strong mind. And that is what I want you to use tonight to help you and you and you out there to overcome or to stay above the challenges that we are currently facing. This is Real Talk, and you're tuned to Styles FM Radio. This is Lady Cleo, and my co-host for tonight, of course, is Daddy Rude. We'll be holding it down real, because Real Talk is the show where we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. And you know and I know that Styles FM can be found on the FM dial 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. And tonight our studio engineer is Cassidy and he will be, you know, guiding us throughout the show. So in case you're just tuning in, welcome again. Great night to you. Yeah. And... Welcome. Tell a friend to tell a friend that Real Talk is on set tonight. I haven't seen you guys for a long while. You must be wondering if, I'm, if I've been quarantining myself from you all. All right. But I'm here with you tonight. Daddy Rude is here tonight. And we're going to be holding it down until about 12 o'clock. Yeah. So if you're feeling down and a little bit out, you know, hey, the right place to be. After all, you can't go anywhere, so just tune into Stars of M and enjoy the show with us. And you contribute in some way positively to the show so that you can help somebody else. Who knows? All right. So it's all about keeping it real tonight. Real, real, real tonight. <laughs> and let me say... Big ups and shout outs to all our people on the social media pages. Can I tell you, like never before, social media has just gone to a whole different level, right, in light of this COVID situation. So all our friends who have always been logging on and watching us via the World Wide Web and all those persons who decide that, boy, you know what? This is just the way I'm going to be going now because, after all, I'm being pushed in that direction. So, those of you who do Facebook, you know the show is live on Facebook tonight. And, of course, we have those other social media pages. We have the YouTube, which, of course, you can see the show afterwards on YouTube. I'm going to ask Cassidy to enlarge on that one for me because the vision, not so 100. In light of everything that is happening, a lot of vision. Cloudy and shaky and yeah, social media pages. Yeah, so of course we have the um, Styles FM radio for YouTube. You can see post dated shows on YouTube. Instagram, please follow us at Styles FM on Twitter at Styles FM 96, 961. Yeah, Styles FM 961. And for the Facebook, the good old Facebook, the fan page is where you go, check out Stars FM 96.1 and go on the fan page and please feel free to leave your comments and so on. I don't understand why my co-host is just analyze that, steering me down, literally down, but we'll come to that in a moment. Good night, Daddy Road. 
yes, you're too near to me. Like socially distance yourself right now. Like no, go over it, some more. It, it's um Your mic on? It says to be three feet, right? Three feet? This is like two and a half. Mm. <laughs> 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 or um, two and something. And um so like three. And I would want to prefer the term safe distance. Safe distance. Yes. Okay. All right. Safe distance yourself from me. Yes. Good. And um, I've been for a long time, many years now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. So you say you've been safe distancing yourself from me. You'll continue to do that. And Perfect. <laughs> and I'll continue to do that, do that even more so now than before. Than ever before. Yes, because... You know, people scorning people these days. And I love the idea. I just love it. Like, like it, never yeah. before, now is the time I want you to just, just scorn me. Scorn you. Yeah, man. Like, that, that sounds pr so, too pretty. Scorn me. S just scorn me. Yeah, as you just said. Because we can't manage you on the part of the thing, you know. Like the moment we can't talk. Yeah, like, yeah. Skin up when you fears. see me on the road, just walk wide. Seriously, I beg you. Anybody who knows, <laughs> you don't really, I'm not really on the road still. So, so would you have an, an issue if them say, First. No, man. Do anything you want. Do whatever first, in between or after. Just scorn me. Seriously, if you want. It's going to be a face. But just make sure while it's going to be a face, you're really wide. Yeah, like, you know, wide yes, away. Yes. No I'm, I'm good with that. What I find, though, is that there are people who are just not scorning each other. And when I say scorn, don't get me wrong. I mean the distance part of scorn. Because when you scorn something, you walk wide from it, yeah? That's what I'm referring to. Well, I mean, so just Shelley always <laughs> said we must try to break it down, you know, in, in a more parochial way. So mm -hmm. if I scan, I'm going to make the people them understand. Say, yeah, the safe distance. Yes, yeah. yeah, scan. You know, mm -hmm. remember now, you know, let us say, hypothetically speaking, you're walking on the road and you think, oh, you know what? I don't have it. I'm good. And you're feeling like you're normal. Guess what? You don't know who around you. Have. Oh, so right. guess what? Tell yourself that everybody have it. Including yourself. Including yourself. So you walk wide from them and them you know, say, walk. And if we all do know, that, then... You, you know, say, to your dress, you look like COVID, though. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> me not but again a mask, my you. No. <laughs> me not care one about the mask, then. Me not man. giving them to you. Yes. What clear is if you do, sir? If it's gone, you. So I find a reason if it's gone, you. No, tell me that part then. No, a man don't like, scan me. <laughs> don't scan me, boss. And tell me that I look like no COVID. It is not black and white. It is pink <coughs> and red. <laughs> you know, me have a cough myself. Uh, me a cough of some green. You try to put on the mask. The mask clean. Me wash them for you. Come, 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 come. So, come, come. for them pretty one there? You want pretty mask? You know where pretty mask? No matter. No, I'm not you want a pretty mask. You should put on, put on one of them fast, fast, yeah, fast, fast. They fast. want a little, little tree, These boss. are yours. And there's another shape that you can look at the other shape. The other shape. Yes. No, the other one shape marga like me. Yes. Yes, man. I tie it up now. Yeah, man. I like this. Yes. yes. Put, put over your ears, Bassi. Over, over there, so. Mm -hmm. like so. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the other one. And you're tight. Yes. I figure you prefer this one. And yes. Over tight. Tight, tight. tight man. No one not. We can pull it. No, put just tight again like a, a bow ish. Like a bow. Yeah. And then you tie it. If you tie it, tie it, so it's snuck on your face. It's supposed to snuck on your face. Like you know if you tie a lace. You like it, right? Tie your shoelace, yes. Yeah. Good night to all our social media peeps who are locking in right now and our WhatsApp people. Good night. I am in the house, Marlene in Milton, Ontario. Very good, Marlene. Stay right in there and listen to us or and watch us. And scorn, clear. Yes, and scorn. But she can, she, she's scorning me good enough. That's good. Make up your uh, face and uh, skin up your Kimoy face. Kimoy in Sunning Hill. Good night to you, Kimoy. Long time. We don't have me, no nice time. She give me a mask because she has scanned me. Yes. Bright Yai taxi driver running from Port Maria to Ocho, Re Ocho, Ocho Reyes. Your vibes always up and running. I hope you have on your mask, Bright Yai. Yes, don't feel afraid or be afraid to wear it. You know, as I mentioned, scorning. Scan. Peeps. <laughs> As I mentioned this morning, there are masks available. There is no excuse for persons to not have a mask. As I have said before, whether you want to get a chiffon butter container, cut out the nose part and snug it onto your face, whether you want to use the banana leaf, 
make it look like blue drawers and tie it up on your face. I've seen some crazy stuff, can I tell you? <laughs> whether you want to make a mask or whether you want to use some other shield or something, you know, something that you think can try to at least, you know, protect to an extent. So your mask passed the, the lighter test? Yes, uh, that one, I have a one like that. I don't, I don't remember trying these with it. But these are some new yeah, ones yeah, that yeah, I've yeah, made. Your mask then passed the poop test. Jesus. You don't poop in Andy, good night to you too. Donna, long time, my brother, long time <laughs> missing it. I can't manage him. Donna, I cannot manage my co-host. No, Yo, I want my marks because from this thing start, I don't wear one yet. Cleo, when can I get mine? So I'm going to give you a WhatsApp number to connect with me on. And of course, I will let you know how it is that you can, where you can go and get your mask. All right. Um, Andy, bless up yourself to my brother. Be safe as well. And the masks are really, really, really inexpensive. Like two fifty for one, and if you want to, it's five hundred dollar. Like seriously, just just that. Are you selling masks? Yes, masks are for sale. No, you never said that. That's what I said. I didn't say that. No, you did not. What do you think I meant? Just giving away masks. You said. Remember, you guys, I have to buy the available. fabric. So. In order to be able to purchase, to listen, make more. Listen, 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 listen. Anybody, Hi, Sadie, in your castle, how anybody, you doing? Anybody out there who want a mask that is me? Oh, it is now. Why, save by the <laughs> bell. <laughs> save by the bell. It is now 9.30. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And... Nessal. Is the sponsor of Real Talk. When we come back, more Real Talk. Stay inside a mask up. So forward. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Church like you never had Church before This Sunday, April 19 From 9 a.m. in the morning To 4 p.m. in the afternoon You can attend church Yes, we're on Styles of Firm Bringing church right into your homes Yes, Styles of Firm Speakers Hello Rob, Pastor Lindsay Raymond, Reverend Lewis, and of course, our great Pastor Robert Bobby Phillips. We're on Styles of Earth. Pull all your Sunday clothes, call your neighbor, tell them to turn up the radio. Let us have church in your yard. Turn in your yard, I worship. I preach, I'm a preach. So make sure you reach. Yes, man, this Sunday, church, where Styles of Earth. When? 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Don't you miss it? Hallelujah! Cool. In a me Yo, this is Jati, the reggae ambassador. Join me alongside Jati Jr. right here on Styles FM. Each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for the reggae ambassador entertainment show. I'm going to take you on a musical ride in a yard style. Coming up, Ska, Rocksteady, and oh yeah, we'll rock you from old to new. Roots, culture, and in a dance hall style, Lily, Lily, Lee. And remember, each and every Saturday from 1 to 5 p.m. for the reggae ambassador entertainment show. Check it out. Right here on Styles FM. Yes, the thing. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. 
native audio stage and lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events, whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back, guys, to Real Talk. And of course, if you're just joining us, welcome to the show. This is Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude on set tonight. And let me just say, um, you know, big ups to Prestige and Shelly. They hold down the show on more than one occasion. All the time, they're able to hold things down. So big up yourself, Prestige and Shelly out there. All right. Um, I need to say shout outs to our parishinas. All the Portlanders who are staying in, you've been staying in, you've been keeping yourself, you know, far enough away when it needs be and as best as you possibly can. Kudos to you. You're smart. You have common sense. You have good reasoning. Now, I don't know if I can say the same thing for the other persons who are not doing that. So all the people across the length and breadth of Jamaica and the whole wide world, if it is that you're not keeping your distance from others as you ought to, you know yourselves. Don't take it for granted. Oh, sure. Uh, they hear all kind of stories. A 5G a cause this and a this, that, and all kind of story. Whatever your theory is, what. Ever your thoughts are on where this came from, on who created this, or what created this, or why it was created. That is not even the bigger picture right now. The bigger picture is going into survival mode and ensuring that you protect yourselves. Government alone cannot do it. Your councillor alone cannot do it. Your mayor can't do it. Your MPs can't do it for you. Your mother, your father, your picnic, them can't do it for you. You have that personal obligation, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You have that personal obligation to yourself. To ensure that whatever you do, and as much as you have to go on living, because yes, you have life, despite the midst of this crisis, up, crisis upon us, in the midst of it all, we have life, and you have to go on living. So guess what you're going to do in order to ensure that you have longevity and you preserve yourself as best as possible? Do the things then we can help to preserve a little bit longer, no? Yeah, man. So all the people them who going into the bank lines and because a bank and you want to get the money, you itch up back at the person. Come on. Come on. The supermarkets, I know we all need food. We all have to eat. No doubt about it. But find a way to go around that rush and don't be caught in the midst of being around and up into everybody and, you know, find a way. Go somewhere else. Go a little bit later or earlier. Of course, within the confines of your curfew period. But try some other way to see if you can get what you need, but not at risk. At putting yourself at risk. Real talk. Yeah? You're on an island and you have to survive. You're, you're stranded on an island. And... You're going to find all the possible ways and means of what? Surviving until you get rescued, don't it? Don't it? Um, will I be alone? Whether you're alone or, or you have company, my love. The point is, <laughs> Cho, <laughs> you're going to find whatever ways and means you can of finding food. If I even to eat the grass. Because you're obviously alive. So I'm saying, just imagine that you're out there all alone in this big wide world and you don't know what will happen next. Uncertainty looms. But guess what? You have to try to survive. And survival is pretty much trying to do all you can to ensure that your safety is intact and the safety of others. Now, you have some people who 
during all of this thing, they are looting and they are stealing and they are robbing and they are you be careful the places that you choose to go to and dig up the people them place and take out the people them things just be careful you see because karma exists same way covid and karma they both you know and you might never know you're going to one of these people's places and you're gonna catch something enough to catch all right so stay in if you have to go and beg your name a little food or something, no bother with the teeth in, man. No bother with it, man. No bother with it. It's not nice when you talk with the people, them things, with the people, them works so are hard for. They now work. Some of them never work now. Not have no more money for go buy back anything. Yeah, be considerate towards your brother and your sister. I know them brother and sister. <laughs> Real talk. Donald is texting. Marvin is in late. Good to see you, Marvin. Uh, Sadie is also up and running. And other persons who are texting in. Like I said, Donald, despite your theory and despite what your feelings are, respected and accepted, and you're entitled to them. But for what it's, what it's worth, if it is that you can stay away from somebody else who might have this thing and you can contract it, stay away from them. That's all I'm saying. All right. <laughs> and Donald knows all too well about karma, he says. It is seriously real. Yep, it exists. All right, so tonight our numbers, right? Though. Let me tell you those numbers to hook us up tonight. The numbers, the local number is 876-453-1444. So please feel free to call us or to text us on the WhatsApp um, as we go throughout the show. And the international number is 954-338-7973. Portlanders, we want to big you up tonight. Doing what you can do. Doing what you're supposed to be doing. Big ups, big ups to you. All the people in St. Thomas holding it down as well. Go on, hold faith. Go on, hold strong. Yes. Um, Daddy up there in St. Th- in Whitehall and the family. And all the associates and friends and so on. Everybody from St. Thomas. Just keep yourself safe, no? And go on, stay in and lock in and have fun inside, right? And to all our friends in St. Anne, St. Mary, Clarendon, all about Jamaica. Yes, keep yourself safe. And of course, well, invite you to just go on listening and do the right thing. All our friends overseas as well. Yeah. Keep on being safe. Heart goes out to the people who have lost their loved ones in New York and all parts of the world. New York is just going through a battering right now. And we really, really pray your strength, guys. All the New Yorkers and, you know, all the persons who are affected in one way or another by the (coughs) death, you know, that is taking its toll around the world. We want to just pray your strength right now. And the prayers are going up, up, up. All right? Yeah, Rude, I am with you after a long... <laughs> I can't call it a vacation. I need a vacation. People, afraid, clear it, afraid. Yeah, me no more afraid. They don't want afraid. Right. So, she they are going like the boy, she's too shy. I'm afraid. I'm not clear. lying. I'm not I don't talk. I'm afraid. Clear. Who are they afraid? Let me know. I'm not even isolation. Is what? Clear quarantine? Clear the death on our quarantine. Now what? Right now, it's a warranty. You need. <laughs> I need a warranty if it's true. <laughs> oh, God. I have a text here that says, no data, no Wi-Fi, but I'm still glad. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, God. That's so sweet. No data, no Wi-Fi. That rough still in my not lying at this age. But guess what? All strong, my sister and my brethren. Yeah? Survival, we say. And whether you have data or Wi-Fi or not, you're going to stay strong, keep a strong head, a strong mind and willpower. Because if you're, if you're weak and faint-hearted, trust me, you're going to crumble. And we don't want that. Because, yes, I and I afraid. I and I afraid bad. And I, I, I still afraid of this to the right here now, too. Worse on but me, I, I spray up and I spray up and I spray up till I can't spray up no more. And Cassidy spray up and spray Question. up till I can't spray up. You don't think of something we are working inside here to always spray up you have lime. and sanitize you up. You have lime in your pocket? 
Lime not that something there. Mm-mm. Me ask, no, me just ask if you have lime in your pocket. No. They're yep. not, they not protected then, man. <laughs> <laughs> they're not protected, clear, man. That one don't need lime, my love. This nah, one named Lysol. No, man. Lies all. Yeah, nah, man. You have to have lime, and, man. And um, alcohol. Yeah, you have, you have and, to have lime. And every so, every so often, intermittently, I'm going to be spring up. Yeah. Right, mm-hmm. you have to have lime. Ensuring that all is well. So. But let me ask you a question. Yes. Let me ask you a question, and, and I'm 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 gonna be um. Oh boy. Gonna I'm, be what? I'm gonna be controversial. As I, usual. I, I, I wasn't controversial last week. I was more conscious last week. You just week. take. You just have a set for me. A, a, long, a, for long, me. a long time when a par one. So you know <laughs> thing said. We have a quota, you know. <laughs> and you know the quota is a pile. You know what I say? So we have to get rich. Let me hear your controversial question now, sir, or comment. You just sprayed a while ago, right? Yes. Why? Because may I touch up, touch up things that I might touch. That you own? Yeah. That you had probably sterilized before, right? Yeah, maybe. And you, 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 you sprayed again, why? Because my conscious, I'm if you spray and keep, sterilize my youth and keep. Yeah. Which means that you're suggesting that you are infected. After me, no, no. Because no, but if you're infected, you're not done infected. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah. Look yeah, here. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You want another question? No, I, I, I'm, I'm asking. Um. Oh Lord! Please, I can't believe what she just did. <laughs> okay, no. Remember, we don't know where they are. We can't manage it. You, you mentioned the paranoia today. <laughs> <laughs> People, I've just seen some act of oh, paranoia. But I want to be paranoid, the, 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 honey. The, 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 I'll um, be paranoid. The, the, the thing about it is that um, I think you remember when I called in the time I was a boy about when they spray the supermarket and this person mm-hmm. leave and from that point and start to pick them nose, blah, blah, yada, yada. yada. Mm-hmm. Um, let me share something with you. The, the way how you see the, the people on, in, in other parts or even locally behaving, mm-hmm. that is how we all were bred to behave. Mm-hmm. Behaving in which, in which aspect of the behavior? Because there are various things that are... All that on. you've seen. Okay. We've all been bred mm-hmm. to behave in that way. Mm-hmm. Those who don't behave in that way up not to behave in that way okay. within a particular space. Mm-hmm. We were bred to be first. Must come first in a class. Mm-hmm. You're better than she. Mm. So even if you reach somewhere late, mm-hmm. you know, and join the back of the queue, you still want to get you first. Mm-hmm. So the what we would probably see as a lack of discipline, a lot of us are really just enacting what we, are, we were bred mm. to, to be. But was it bred by parents necessarily or cultured by society? Yes, both. Okay. Because... You would have been ta- the, the the parents would have been taught that, and then they would have taught passed that, it passed on. it on. Okay. Likewise, in the classroom, um, you don't spoil. Oh, the one the bright. I don't call my students dunks. Right? No, it's just. Okay. But there might be others who does that. Mhm. Right now, when you look at persons rampant like sardines. We all know if you are fourth in line, you could be a mile away. You are mm-hmm. still fourth in, in the right. same line. Right. But we were bred for try for just be up there, yeah. up there, yeah. up there. Mm. So, the, the 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 what persons were doing it was not a demonstration, right? They were just 
Being themselves? Being themselves. Because we were bred to be that. Now, when you use a term like social distance, who are you talking to? <laughs> that's, that, that's not what we were bred yes. to be, social distance. What, what, what do you mean by social distance? A lot of persons don't even understand. And the terminology. Of, yeah. Exactly. So, but 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 right there, there needs then, to be now a transformation, despite what we were bred. That's the the thing. There needs to be a transformation. But how many people can but can adjust un, under the exactly under this circumstance when there's euphoria, mm -hmm. you don't have time to think about being politically correct. True. You have true. time to get back into your nature, your natural state, mm. and be who. Not what you have become, you know. Because we're asking people now to become what they, for generations. Mm -hmm. We were never, we're not asking persons to, to live in isolation. Mm -hmm. yeah. A country with sports, mm -hmm. party. Nightlife, eh? Nightlife. It, it, it's socializing. Mm -hmm. Enjoying oneself is a part of the culture. So if persons are to adapt, mm -hmm. there has to be things in place. For the that adaptation? For oh. them to feel unconfined. Yes. Even within the confinement. Fair enough. But what do you suggest? Given the fact that we are faced with other variables such as developing country. We're not at we're not at some place like some other countries as it relates to even alternatives such as, you know, for example, Wi Fi connection. How many people how many people really have Wi Fi connections at home? You know? How many people have access to that? How many people can afford to purchase data? So yes, I know that there are variables that would cause people to feel confined and to feel like they can't make it because we're not accustomed to it and that's that is fair enough a statement but my take that the road is the fact that we are in this predicament which none of us put ourselves in and none of us can take ourselves out of so to speak what we have is our willpower and that strength to say if it is that I can try to eliminate myself from getting this thing by doing X, Y, and Z, then we just have to go really try to do X, Y, and Z despite the odds against me. And people are saying, oh, they normally go in by a certain time and then they normally do this. Let, yes, let, let me ask but another, what are you going to do? Let me ask Roll another, over and die? Let me ask you another question. Do what you have to do, man. People have to survive. Yes, I don't dispute that. And it, survival comes with food, mm -hmm. clothes, and shelter. Right. When we ask of persons to be in isolation and the means of acquiring food the means of acquiring the money to get food mm -hmm. has not been forthcoming shown mm -hmm. how to acquire it without breaking rules and breaking the isolation. Mm. It, there are some tough ones, I know. Right? Like uh, what now, you're asking now, some tough one situations are there. No, last week, oh boy, spoke of. <clears throat> The market mm -hmm. where you need food. Yeah. And within the market space, run by the local authority, mm -hmm. who sits as the board of health. A lot of persons may, may not know that. But there's a the, the, the municipal corporation actually represents the board of health for the parish. Mm. Okay. But when the place to provide 
or one of the, one of the places to provide a basic need of life, which is food. Mm-hmm. There is nothing in place, or evidently, visibly in place, to change the practice of how persons go about getting this of food. how persons go about getting food within the space where food is to be provided. Mm. So when we talk about a culture and how you are bred and then ask of persons to just dramatically make certain transitions. To make transitions. dramatically to make certain transitions mm. and not put things in place. It's going to be an uphill task mm. for the persons who want these things to happen because implementation you have you have all laws you have, you have laws for almost everything to govern us in this country mm-hmm. but many times implementation is 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 the issue so when they come up with um ignorance is no excuse of the law you can't expect any individual to know the law when the practice of implementing and maintaining and enforcement has not been happening for that to become an understanding. Mm. Let me put it in another perspective, in another way. If it had been a practice among us to speak apart, if it had been a practice among us when you go in the marketplace to respect person's privacy, even in the bank system before now, mm-hmm. when people oh, gosh. are left and come back and say, oh, me did mm-hmm. Right now, it is more orderly because everybody gets a number and people still are left <laughs> and still are come back and then number pass and gone and expect the security Another thing too. Right? So, we were never bred to respect a queue. Never. Mm-hmm. And everybody try to beat a system who them know. So, so, how, so how, how is it that there are people who do respect it and then there are others who don't? Weren't we all even those who do, cultured by they, society? Yes, even those who, even those who don't mm-hmm. were still bred to come first in a class. To compete. But is something so wrong with that though? No, but this is the fruit that you reap. So but, it, but, it, but, it, it seems simple. But it's not trivial. Hmm. It's something serious. Yeah. Because it's gonna take a change. Break time. Kids don't walk when that bell ring. <laughs> Because we were bred, say, so you need to reach in a class a certain time. When the break bell is up, they, they rush back to class. Right. They run back to class. But we were never taught that watch the time and within three minutes before the time, start to make your way. That becomes challenging when not everybody wears a watch. There can be a way. Yeah. There can be. be a bell before the final bell. Once you hear that first bell, it means that you need to start to finish up what you're doing and make your way to. Fair enough. So it is the implementation, the implementer need to be more innovative. To get the desired behavior. What happened in Portmore? Oh, God, man. Right? <laughs> Portmore? Is, or St. Catherine? Well, was in... Yes. Oh, yeah. Right? is nothing short of what should have happened. If you hear, say, um, Porty, I go there on lockdown, what you I go do? No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying. Yes, I'm staying. not a dummy. Where am I going? Let me tell you this. I'm not going anywhere. This is where you and I differ right now. Let I ain't tell, going l- nowhere. L- l- let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. <laughs> I know everywhere people live comfortably, you know. Oh, hold right? on. I agree. No, no, but then no, leaving, no. going somewhere else is going to make you even more comfortable? People are not used to the isolation. 
that's, a, no, be, you because, see, that's what I'm saying. Because, be, because. You remember how I started well, I tonight? I, You're I, I, in a position I am, I am, where. I am not against the cause, you know. What I'm saying, <sighs> I'm trying to ventilate. But you're giving some, them strength the, to think it's no, okay. I'm trying to ventilate some of the reasons why we are the behavior. It's not an okay. It's the reason behind the behavior. But, yeah. Right? I'm not accustomed and, to isolation and, either. And, Nobody really and, is. And, 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 the powers that be mm -hmm. need to understand emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. The behavior, the behavioral patterns, what makes people behave a certain, certain way. way yeah. And what you need to theories. do to address those issues instead of utilizing the media in the way it is being the utilized. Uh, some some truth to what you're saying there. Yeah. We need to understand that we are like sardines. That is how we were bred. So what how do you... many times? How many times? From coming up as a kid, being an adult, has someone ever come? And say, join the queue. Look upon the bus man, them with a load, and the loader man, them, and the taxi man, them. Even when them get the perfect bus park, them rather if you go right in front of the market and over takes up a gas station. Yes, but right? then that's well, not acceptable, is it? Uh, it isn't, but it is how we were bred. Yo, me, I got to go run the road, me, I got to eat the food. A time, time matters. Yes, yes, but it still boils back to me. To, in, to some level of indiscipline, despite all we were bred. There are other Hold societies. On. It is, it is. Because, I'm glad to go in there because I'm going to say something to you regarding other societies. 10 o'clock, ladies and gentlemen, the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Nessal. Nessa. When we come back, we take some of those WhatsApp messages. All right, so okay. come. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 Church like you never had Church before This Sunday, April 19 From 9 a.m. in the morning To 4 p.m. in the afternoon You can attend church Yes, we're on Styles of Firm Bringing church right into your homes Yes, Styles of Firm Speakers Hello Rob, Pastor Lindsay Raymond, Reverend Lewis, and of course, our great Pastor Robert Bobby Phillips. We're on Styles of Earth. Pull all your Sunday clothes, call your neighbor, tell them to turn up the radio. Let us have church in your yard. Turn in your yard, I worship. I preach, I preach. So make sure you reach. Yes, man, this Sunday, church, where Styles of M, 1, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Don't you miss it? Hallelujah. Cool. In me Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital team. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 p.m. Come, Styles FM. Whoop, top, top, top. Digital tea. Our brain. Look, man. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. 
native audio stage and lighting. Now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back to Real Talk. You're listening to Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo tonight. And we go to the WhatsApp connection and we see who's been there and what they've been saying. So we start with Shakara. Hey, Shakara, how are you doing, girl? Um, Shakara says, what about the variable of self-preservation? Yeah, that's important. That is the ultimate. Um, no one in America is used to isolation. I don't agree with you, Daddy Rude. You made some points there that I, she was saying she don't agree with. Jamaicans lack discipline, period. I've been in my house for over a month already. I only go out to buy food early before the crowd comes out. All right. Uh, let's see the next one there. Thank you for your input. Lisa is on board. Good night to you too. Lisa, let's see what Marvin is saying. Marvin says, feeling sick. Uh, here waiting back for my results. It's like I have all the symptoms. It's a scary feeling. Oh my goodness. Osh, my brother. But hang in there and, you know, just not give up. Don't give up. Symptoms are not. Positive are not. Don't give up. Don't give in. Fight that good fight. Okay? Yo, more on my mask. Okay, got that one already. Um, this coronavirus has nothing to do with all that. L don't let the 1% of the 1% scare you. And uh, boy, clear, I'm afraid too. Really and truly afraid. Behave yourself, Daddy Road, not so early. Tell him, y'all, tell him. <laughs> all right. Um, Peter McKenzie. Hey, Peter, a long time. COVID-19, he says, we lost that one. All right, so um, we bring that up back in a few. And, um, you know, there are some things that Daddy Rude said that I agree with, and there are others that I don't want to agree with because I believe that despite all that you've been taught and all that you've learned, right now we are faced with something that we have never, ever, ever seen or heard of before, experienced before, and what we need to do is survive it. And by surviving and it, if, if it means giving up the fact that you're not used to isolation and you're not used to quarantining and you're not used to staying in because we're a society that is normally sociable and whatever. The point is give up what you need to give up to stay alive. That's my take. Hold that thought. Let's see what Peter says. COVID-19 is here and people are saying this and that and pointing finger blaming 5G but not considering the health of other people by not keeping their distance are walking time bombs. Thank you. I told somebody that they are no different from a suicide you know who. Because if it is that you don't know what you have and you just freely, willy-lily just walking about into people's face, into people's space continuously and continually, then to me, you don't care. And it's not good enough. I was in Texaco the other day. I just had to go and get some phone credit. And by the time I opened the door, but as a matter of fact, before I went in, I waited until India was like pretty much empty. Because about three persons were in India, that's a small space. Three people were in there, and I stood outside and waited for them to come out. And when the gentleman, all the spray bottle, I said, I have mine, and I sprayed my hands. And by the time I was to come out, a young man was just coming in. I opened the door, and he just give, never gave me the chance. I said, can I get the chance to come out? I need to come out. He's coming in, facing right in, you know, coming in on me. Come on, man. Come why? on, man. It can't be business as usual. Why? It cannot be business as no, usual. No, I'm asking why I'm do that. I couldn't care less about social distance or spacing. Le no, that's not the reason. Who's why? Because, not conscious. because... He's not conscious. Uh, hold on, listen. We were not taught... There you go again. Listen, there, hold no, on. No, 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 Enough time we look on some something where I say, boy, hey, the man, to be a gentleman, you're supposed to hold the door, this, that, blah, blah, blah. Let me ask you a question. Were we taught 
to be gentlemen? Of course. When? Your grandma's dead and your mama's. No, I you? Me, listen, listen. Probably the only generation. Look here. We next. Don't, no, 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 some of those we, things. Some of them. We, we, oh, listen, I'm talking about taught. Yes. You will have. Yes, there are young men you who will, have been taught you, how to be gentlemen. You, you, you will have. You will have a significant minority. Who knows? And practices. I agree, but right? that, that doesn't mean that the majority however, weren't thought, taught. However, however, in many cases, you open the door and you're coming out, or it's my holy door, people walk past you, them don't say thanks, them don't say nothing. Right? I'm glad I'm old school, because I do those things. I say thank you. So, but in many cases, people don't. It, yeah, but what I'm saying well, is... It, it, it grieves me. It, it, Listen to what I'm saying now. What I'm getting at, you know, is that we need to try to understand what is happening in the minds of the, in the, minds of the absent-minded we are we are cause people. What what going with the mind at the road? We, we are cause people. They're right? just not with it. I need to get no, with me, it. No, me not disagree. Me not agree with it? I want it. What is I, it? I don't agree. What is it because then? Because in many cases, some people yes. consciously and subconsciously just not here. They are being the being. They're now is not the time to be the what you're what you have recultured to do. All right. That's the point I'm making. All right. well, and how well you can change changes in inevitable. You, you, and right, the only thing right, constant you, is change. You if can't, you can't change and adjust yourself, you, then you you're not. You can't wake up in the morning and say, have social distance. Right? What I'm gonna start for very basic. What is social distance? So right? when you now, interact with people or you're socializing or you're moving about no, and but, but, interact but, but, but with people, keep a distance, distance from them. A distance, right? Yes, safe enough now, distance. Safe enough. Where if distance. it is that they speak and whatever, droplets are from your body can't enter theirs Drop, or whatever. Droplets with with, with three thousand million people don't understand bio. We need we need listen, we need, we need to stop pretend and expect. You see the Expectation is a, is the best recipe for disappointment. Yes, and a lot of us true. are disappointed because we have this expectation of people to, to adapt to something where there is a process of implementation that has not occurred. Take, for example, what, what happened last week when the people want to pick up them part money. Oh, God. Right? People oh. just want to pick up them part money. And that but, can't be acceptable. But, that but, cannot be acceptable down but, the road. But who was there... Who was there? We know better. God, I got show better. The implementing body, the post office, we are deal with the part business. The fo the forward thinker. Who would have been there or ought to have been there to ensure and not to expect people to be what they are not? <laughs> caller on the four five three. Hello, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Blessed evening, my sister. Blessed evening. How are you, brother? Not too bad, you know. It's good. Um, I hope that people are tuned in and listening to what Daddy Root's saying. Lady Clear, mm -hmm. understand your point. But it's just like Christianity. Me a bad boy out of the road, and something happened, I dropped off my bike, broke up, and all right, we see, we see, we see the angels, and God called me, and we got baptized. We can't change same time. Thank you. Can change same time. We we I, I nobody taught me to be a gentleman. I see and I adopted. Simple. Uh, yes, all, all. And, uh, yes. So just like now, people so you, you, you can't just fling something at us and it's because okay, no, boom. No, no, no. But the boy, hold on. Social distancing from my family. White. In the house. White. You made a yes. point just now. You saw and you adopted. Exactly. Adaptation can take time. It can also be instant. But and and I'm saying, huh? And everybody have that mindset to adapt. But just uh, like that. But for the sake of self-preservation, you're telling me that not everybody cares about self-preservation. Really clear. And lot of people that didn't know what is self-preservation. Oh my God. Really? So there are people who just don't care if they die or they live. It's not about they're no, not care. Not they're not conscious of. So what is it then? Because I don't know what it is. All right, me, me. All right. This is a good example, right? I, mean, I can't swim, and I go at sea. 
Right? We're not going to the water to, to the point where we figure, figure drown. That's the point. No, man, no. Me can't swim, but we got to see. Uh -huh. Some pretty girl out there can swim. Yeah, go up there. But as soon as we reach out there, I realize, say, no, this one is going to try to wait back ashore. Do one. And we're going to call for help. So um, people have to give the people them a chance to say, help me. We don't know exactly this. Just like all the people in the crowd are going to call it impact money. We don't have that, that time. Carlington, we don't have that time. We this know, thing is rapidly spreading and people are dying. Here, there is nobody out here teaching them that. So, so you understand? Okay. Them have insecurity and the security have pushed them apart and the security angle here. So, and something, you get what I'm saying? All right, no so, so let, me, let me ask you this. You're telling me that a set of grown adults, yes, they want the past when they call some of them hungry, the children are hungry, and we understand that. That is a reality for them. And you're telling me that pushing and shoving, where you're supposed to be in queues, listening for names and all these things, where people at the post office are trying to get your attention, get order, police have to be called in to get order and some, some resemblance of order. You're telling me that people, grown adults, despite whatever background and culture they are from, don't understand that if it is that you push and you shove, it will not make you get this money any faster. You will only be exposing yourself some yes, more to the dangers of COVID. Yes. Come no, on, man. No, they're not yes, thinking about that. People is real. It's these are the same <laughs> people that send their child come to school to be taught. But when you when the teacher teach them and then they get it and teacher talk to them and then go and the same parents class school cut out the teacher. These so, are the same people. So you and that rule telling me that people need to be taught. People yeah. need to be them, taught at this point. Remember, you know, have some people who are busy who are learning. Line. Remember, you know, you have different set of which people line, which different line, different line, different different people are learning, you know. Life for the part money. No, but, 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 yeah, when they could. Why? And adapt readily yeah, to, the, to, the, to the culture but, there. But why? No, they don't adapt to the culture there. No, they do mean? No. What, what they do? They, 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 them, what, go, what they, they do? them go into a system. They pretend for a no, while? No, they, they go into a system that has put things in place to ensure. To exactly. So, oh. so exactly. It, the, the system in place yes. to teach them. The system, yes. it, it causes to adapt because you are seeing it being implemented. Exactly. Exactly, you are oh, seeing right? it. That is why that I that way me I show no. To be a gentleman, I, I saw it and I adapted. The, the, there was no. You, are, mean, you are, guys are, making it are, look are, as if Jamaica are, is the are, only place. Oh, no, 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 there are the people, generally speaking, are also very indisciplined. And there are things me, that are in place for them to do, and they're still not doing it either. Let me share something with you, right? I'm, I'm going I'm, I'm to share something with you. Talk to more people. Boy. Now go and listen. Now yeah. go and listen. Thank you, the boy. I le yeah, yeah, big up. Oh, 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 hold on, thought, Daniel, please. Um, I saw where some banks put stoppers. All right. Hold on, no? They All put right. stoppers in place yes. and say, okay, try to stay this distance apart from yes, each other. Yes. That is what you would, be, would say is a way of teaching, okay. don't it? Yes. How many people actually follow it and obey it? Many right. don't. What I've witnessed, the phone ring? Yes. We have a caller on the 453. What? Good night, um, caller. Welcome. Um, we, we can't accept WhatsApp calls. Um, Call us on the 954-338-7973, Shakara. 954-338-7973. All right. Caller on the 453. Welcome. It's a pleasure. Hi. How are you? Good. Excellent. Great. On the road. Big up yourself. It's excellent. Heal up, heal up, heal up. We know you are a woman still, you know? Yes, sir. <laughs> Proudly so. Perfect, perfect woman. Beautiful, <laughs> all of that. Trying to be. <laughs> but yes. I need to let up some of your woman ways. Really? Like yeah, which right. one? Because that's the road. I try to explain something to you. And you're hell bent. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I get exactly what he's saying, but I'm also sharing my view that despite the fact that we might not be cultured a certain way. The reality is 
facing us that this is a life or death situation. You could very well die from just contracting this thing. Why wouldn't you try to do all you can to preserve yourself? That's all I'm saying. You're, you're a school teacher, right? You teach at school. Or uh, all of your students quick to, to be very, very good students. Mm. Not all of them necessarily. Some of them are still learners, so but we hope for the best for them. Between, but it, what's the difference between the child who wants to be quick and the child who doesn't want to be quick? Willpower. So, yeah, I so said the adults, they not have the willpower. <coughs> do they? I try to make you understand that they were not cultured. No, do they? Do you think they do? They were not cultured. No, our culture to what? Have when willpower? When they look from place like Rima in a Kingston, we sent out a video to see you. Yes, I saw it. With, with people, like, a, a police them just stone or whatever. I you don't understand? know who they were stoning. When you look from people like them, where, where you, you call it cultured, you call it they were taught. That the roots of they were cultured to be that way. Yes, Let me tell you something, man. That the road and the Indian right from the So they were cultured that way? Yeah, what oh, do you mean? All right. The parents never teach them no better. Okay. Some of them learn, you know, better, you know. But the majority of them never learn no better. You know, they have good people come from out of the inner city. I know that. Excellent people. I know that. And they never have the they know when they teach you. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when they look for the whole social um, distance, half of Jamaica, 90, maybe 80 odd percent of Jamaica don't know nothing about social distance. I don't agree with you. Yeah, no, no, you're not agree with that. Not 80% at all, at all, at all. Let me tell you something. I mean, I even got more. No, no, nothing about social distance. A man just run up to you and say, well, I'm clear where I said. We are going to And even when I saw COVID-19 come in, and you hear yourself, they treat me from you. Instead of doing it, now look what I'm clear. Where are Donald, <laughs> Donald, may I show you something? With enough people now, meds. Clear, when you want to cough, which part is it? Then say for cough now. In your closer and elbow and so In your elbow, right? Right now, the culture, now nah, ding nobody again. They might use the same elbow with them cough, you know. I touch them one another. Uh, the same contaminated elbow. I eat at the culture right I now. We will add up. No, no people now nah, made nah, made that. Yeah. Saying I hardly know, even see nobody doing that. On first for television purposes they show you that, but hardly nobody doing that. You don't know. You remember say you, 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 you don't know what's going on road. Man. But look, everybody, you want car. You can't over your mouth and cough. So, 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 you so. Are, you are sneeze, you put your hand over your face and sneeze. So, Donald. Yeah. People are cultured up, well, from what Daddy Rudy is saying, to do all the wrong things or all the wrong ways of dealing with things. No, Mr. We are cultured to come first and try to get through before it's muddy. Yes, that's what and I'm all saying. the negativities and, 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 that and, we are cultured and, to. And, 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 Always and, it that there and, are people. Hold on, and, and, hold on. And, and it is that what we were taught to be. We, we never taught for fi, 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 fi be like sardine. We were taught to come first. And as a result of uh, wanting to come first, that is, that, yeah, that yeah, is what so. happened. Yes. And I'm saying there are some yeah, of the I things that we were that cultured way. according to you to do are not the right ways of dealing with the situations. But now that we are faced with this dilemma, how are I'm we going to find... To that dilemma, yeah. Huh? Around the three months now, we were really faced with that dilemma. Yeah, yeah and I'm so, saying, uh, how are we going to ensure that we try our best look here. to preserve if, ourselves? All right. Um, um, By sitting down and saying, oh, no, no. we weren't cultured, we weren't cultured, we weren't cultured. How about making well, a trap, making an Let effort to change? You. Yes, 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 if a man in, if a man in this thing and disappear, nobody never remember the behavior and say, so we need to change this, find out if we change this behavioral pattern where we are demonstrate. No if, if a man in this thing has been disappeared, nobody has a member said there, there is a problem with existing. You know? And we go back to normality. That's what you're we saying. go back to normality. <laughs> See, because, 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 because normality is the way. 
My mom would say, when it's gone down the road, eh? but it's still not. By July, when it's gone, remember, so we have here, we don't have here full already. So yeah. Here, June. <laughs> so me and June, we have me and June, we got June. Yeah. And when June and June done, and July it gone, because them people know when it's going. <laughs> Same. Yeah, that's that. Them know where they uh, Look here. Uh, oh my God. The now. people them who <laughs> cluster up, yes, we're upset by what we see. But what I'm saying, things need to be put in place. Measures need to be put in place to mitigate that. And that never happened. We are expect the people them, we are expect the people to behave a certain way. Where you teach me if you come first. Forget you before the other person. In a class, we're supposed to. I do my schoolwork and hide my paper. I'm not supposed to have share and all them stuff. So they're teaching at school. And how does that affect what is happening to us uh, now, Daddy Road? They might act out what they, what, 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 what they learn. Daddy Road. Yo. Right now, there is an eminent shutdown. Mm. There is yeah. an eminent shutdown where every single place I've got closed. Hey, Donald. 24 hours. Donald. I'm manage. Donald, enough of them people yeah. where you say I try to escape. Zane, all the way. When you hear principal come, everybody will try to escape out of class. Yeah. Right? The hey, let me show you. It's, sure, what, what it's I, not just what black I, and white. It's, <laughs> there is motive and there is Clear. a reason. Clear. One of the best things ever happened right now, Donald. Oh, man. You see them people that we escape? You know what, though? It makes people realize that from a long time we have the ability to call and turn in farmer. Yeah. Because I know people because say, yo, one stranger is in town. We don't know him. We don't know how that. Police. Hey, people are calling me from yesterday from where are where are yellow and them place there. Both stranger yeah. and what them fiddle. You see? Yeah. But you know what you happen. Oh. The man go make go shut down St. Catherine. And within 15, 20 minutes of time set up. Exodus. Exodus. St. Catherine starts exploding. You understand the man say? What are going to happen next week if, <laughs> if, like, the rumor is well, saying? Yes, 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 yes. All right. Put, put it this way. May I try to be optimistic in saying that a number of them people are not infected? Right? Stop being naive. And, are, are, no, no, let me use optimistic. Let me use a nice word, man. No, you're being naive. So, I could just hope, sir. I don't know, I kind of have your hope too. The, I'm afraid, the, like, you're yeah. being yeah. naive too. But the movement of the people um, was as a result of them not wanting to be any, in any further confinement. Because it's, remember, you know, and no, that's no, stupidity. No, no, for them people, you know, are possibly people will lose all their work, you know. That and, is and stupidity. Them warm, you know. It is stupidity. That's what I say. So, yeah, but clear, you have to understand. No, I don't so. understand, and I won't understand, Donald, because it's stupidity. You can't tell me that you don't know if you are infected, and you're going to take up yourself and go all across Jamaica trying to find someone. Refuge. What if you no. are infected? You're going to infect others. What? what if you are not infected, but then when you go about your business, you're going to infect, get yourself infected? It's dumb. So it is stupid. Stay, Stay in the parish. No, Let right. the authorities right. do what they're doing. Right, and let then, then let, let me ask you a Bob question. Bull Bay went through quarantine. And Did they die down there? No. Well, I know. But the next place they're going to send Catherine. No, saying, but, but, but clear. Well, on, man. Come no, on, man. man. No, man. Well, on. Danal, let me address a Bull Bay business. When they, run, well, not, when they run around the parish, well, the know. island, what happened now? The whole island might end up shutting clear. down. Even worse for us, for the economy well, and everything. Come clear. on. It's well, stupid. Me hear what you're saying about you, you mentioned Bull Bay. The thing will come over the media about Bull Bay. People they want food. People they want. People they want that. And that people see. It gone into them psyche look right here. away. Look here. The fact that the man, remember. the man not only mentioned, the PM didn't only mention that there was, was going to be a closure. He also said, because clearly from the first instance, they would have had knowledge of what to change, what to adjust. And he said, Wednesday of this same week, the following day, they would have gotten time to go get some additional food. I, I Come on. And Saturday would have been the other day I as well. Me. Right? Them, no. So it's not like they would no, have well been on. locked in now them and all oh, no food. Well, no. Give them, me a break, well, man. Them, 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 them say between most whatever time and whatever time, elderly can go up on the road. Them yeah. say, yeah. Ag yeah. Them say yeah. again yeah. now, yeah. eh. I'm going to go and listen. All right, Donna. Thank you. You see right now, clear. I'm going to leave with something. It is not a woman's world. It isn't? No. It's a man's world? 
not a woman's world. Is it a man's world? It's our world. Okay, that's good to know. Clear. <laughs> they, they, them say A to whatever alphabet, yes. and then to one next set of alphabet. The, it go it goes again now to implementation. Who was regulating that rule? Everybody want beat a system, boy. Right now, you can't tell me some in a name. Um, Isn't that what it boils down to? Indiscipline. If they say between nine and ten, sister, we were we. Uh, listen, Jesus. me now put it to indiscipline. Uh, call her under the nine five four. Good night. Uh, sir. Hey, Cleo, it's me, your yeah. good friend. What's up? <laughs> Not much. I'm tuning in to you guys, and that is rude, I have to say. I, 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 I don't agree with your line of reasoning. Um, this whole thing has to do with people's mindset mm -hmm. and how they perceive things. Nobody in the entire world expected this virus to hit us the way it has hit us. Um, for one, nobody is accustomed to self-isolation or, or uh, social distancing, right? That Safe was a, a term that was coined as a result of the, the, the pandemic, right? Mm -hmm. No, you don't have to be the sharpest tool in the shed to understand that social have to do with interaction. Distance means you, you, you take away yourself. And Jamaicans have a very um, keen way of, of analyzing things because I, I am a Jamaican, so I'm a no. <laughs> Most Jamaicans know how to reason out the whole idea of social distancing. Now, you, 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 you listed out a, a, a series of variables as to why the people are the way they are. And I think it's, it's crazy that you even <laughs> come up with that whatever because in in times like these you, common sense common sense like self-preservation like would you rather um die than than than, than to social distance take away yourself stay in your house a lot of people are dying like like dropping like crazy and i think a lot of people don't understand the virus people are <laughs> asymptomatic walking around you guys and us here meaning they have the symptoms and they don't show any they have the the the, the, the virus and they don't show any symptoms at all you understand so all of that pushing and shoving and all the things that you're talking about you you, you all have to pay attention pay attention to what's happening in the world and take your cue from it because people are dead left, right, and center. You think that me want to come out of my house? You think that me no want to go to the things? You think that me no want to travel and, and, and see my friend them? I would love that so much. All of us would have loved that. All right, um, what we, is more important? All right, hold on. We, we're at the 10.30 break. Yeah, hold on. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. The time, time is now 10.31. Time and is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Nessa. Stick and stay. Soon come. Yep. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Budget. You know what I just realized? How come fear shop always full and you can barely count the amount of people who come in a Femi shop? Then you know see fear shop get international. A Styles FM she a mind our business with. Styles FM fit you? Yes. A time you mind your business. Same like how she a mind our business and a sponsor one show up on Styles FM. I saw you fit mind your business and take out one package and sponsor one of their show too. She a get ads. She a get mentions. Her business a get chat about. I want to you. Mind your business. Yes, that's right. You can sponsor a program on Styles FM. Starting as low as $4,000 per month. Conditions apply. Contact us today at 876-993-3358 or 876-518-2399. Styles FM, get your business out there. 
Social commentary to no, tune. No, no, no ice cream sound. Good morning, teacher. Long time, teacher. E edge your love with love song. All happening. And 1 p.m. on the People Station Styles FM 96.1, 96.5, 96.7. Only the smooth sailing with Colin Anthony. Shotgun to the fame. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world is Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. All right, welcome All right. back to Real Talk. You know, earlier, Shakari, are you still on online? Yeah. Yes. Um, earlier, Daddy Rude mentioned about not being used to the isolation and so on and so forth. And you know, quite frankly, them not get it to know when you do get the disease. All of you are used to confinement and all of you are used to isolation. We have to sit down and keep them keen quiet because they will be you know, isolated. You, you know, you, you, and string up, absolutely clear. string uh, up and can't go nowhere, can't you know, see nobody. You know, I. You are so right I, about that. I, I, I truly. My sister is a RN in one of the biggest hospitals in New York, and I'm telling you, they are running out of spaces to put dead bodies. Wow. Okay, they, they've now been using, like, refrigerated trucks to store bodies. People don't understand the magnitude of this, this virus. So when people are saying social distance, it's not because they want to create havoc in people's life. It's because they genuinely is trying to save people's lives. Think about a big city like New York that has multiple, multiple, many, many ventilators, many um, hospitals that... Um, could service people, and we are struggling. Mm -hmm. We were struggling for a long time for ventilators for, for the people. In Jamaica, how, ma how many hospitals do we have that is going to be able to, to take care of people if they start getting sick to a point where, um, you know, it gets out of control? God, I hope not. I think it's almost there people already. People have to are getting be there. cognizant of what is going on and take their cue because let me tell you something. It depends on the viral load that you get, and it will determine how your body is affected. You understand? Some people, it licks them down bad, bad, bad. And then another person shows absolutely no symptom. Right? Or so very mild. Walking around. You could be sitting across from Daddy Rude right now, and one of y'all is infected, and, and y'all don't know. Jesus, Lord have mercy. You're asymptomatic. Put on my mask. And, and, That's how it and I know I say right now, clear fret because I'm telling from man. Oh. You understand what God. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when they say take proper precaution, and oh. one thing I agree with Daddy, Daddy Rude on, the, 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 the business places that are opening, they have to take measures. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you're going to tell the people social distance, 
then you have to lead by example yes. in the sense that, okay, you're going to form a line outside and we're only <laughs> letting in this amount of people at this time. When these people come out, you go in. And you make markers on the floor to separate people. You understand? Mm. Since they're not going to do it, you have to teach them how to. You understand? So with that point, you, you, I agree with that. But people are not stupid either. Exactly. If, 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 hmm? Exactly. They conform when they want to conform to different things. Yeah. All right, I, all right, all right. Let, let, me, let, let me ask you. Whole. Give me, right, let, let, let me ask you something, right? Um, yeah. If, in terms of people having, say, know what they ought to do, but they are not doing it, I don't think they don't know what they ought to do, you know, but they're not doing it. Why? Right. Hmm? Why? Because. Because if there is not a, an organized queue system, we always try to break a rule because someone, if you don't know which number you have, somebody I will try to say, boy, them did it before that person. Or, yo, brethren, what go on? Oh, yeah, man, remember, man, him did left and gone, so him did it right here, so. That is how we do what we do here. This so, situation. No, right? So, 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 the so, that, so the persons that. who are there, the persons who are there doing what they are doing and that we are all disagreeing to, they are being what they are, they are demonstrating what, what, what we have I'm all. agreeing with you, you know? in saying that business places have to put things in place to make sure that people are following the procedures. So say, for example, if I go to Target to buy something, right? Um, you have to form a line and there are markers on markers the floor. Markers on the floor, right. Outside, Jamaicans a, a don't him. No, clear. Let me disagree with that one. They do. Some Jamaicans do not Listen. follow. I pass down by floor and see the markers on the front. How many time. people are standing on them? Not many. Listen, the first time, the first time I went oh, to Jamaica man. National Bank, I mean, can't talk for them. The first time I went to Jane Bank, I see the crowd out there, spaced. But I just never know so if I go get a ticket. And one of them said, boy, no, you need to go up there, go get a number. And I take my number, and I go in one space where would have put me at a distance. That would have told me that the management and the staff at Jane would have had a meeting, discuss how they were going to regulate the space beyond the 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 the, 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 um, yes, the, the internal hold on give me a second give me a second then put up one then put up one, one ten by ten ten for people get oh, shared Jesus. right may I say the government office the message bearer an arm of the message bearer knows I would have known that on a routine basis people Daddy Road Daddy yeah. Road I feel like on in general Jamaicans are indisciplined. They're indisciplined by nature, and them feel like say them can do as them like. You understand? Yep. I've been in Jamaica, and even the the, the, the basic traffic rule where people are supposed to follow, the way they're supposed to drive on the street, them act like animals on the road. Me not tell a lie. You understand? They do it, and then if a police were to stop them, them give them talk and them want fight and them want do the most. You understand? If, if, if violence don't come into play, sometimes Jamaicans don't listen. Some, some Jamaicans. Harsh, just have to reach them first, yeah. Before they hear. You understand? You, it, it always has to re resort to something crazy. Yeah. For them to yeah. take stock of what is happening. And then me for change their mindset. You Real understand? Talk. Think about it. All of those people on the street dancing and, and, and gyrating and carrying on in the middle of a pandemic. Right? Um, think about those um, people who have multiple people living in the same yard. The granny, the, everybody. Some people have compromised immune system and underlying issues already. When you come in there and you're infected, all of them people they get infected because of your negligence. You understand? Them have to start looking at the bigger picture. We cannot make excuses for grown ass people. Let me ask a question, right? Yeah. Let me ask a question. I don't know how, yeah. ma how many persons are familiar with this. In Portmore, you have what they call, some housing developments, what they call the quad unit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in a quad, it is f 
it is four buildings. It is one building divided into four. four. Yeah. Which is a room, a bathroom, and I think probably a kitchen there in the room. Yeah, man, I know what a quad is. Right? Now, we are suggesting then, in a living situation like that, that is not ideal for self-isolation. So, e- so even if you're in a relationship with someone in that quad, you I should... I think that's the misconception, um, y- Daddy Road. You um, should... You people should... are not understanding what social distance is. Because um, if you live with somebody in the house, right? If you live in a quad with somebody, um, it's highly likely that if one person has it in there, everybody will catch it because guess what? You're in that little cont- um, that, that, that space. But that's your little family. I think social distancing doesn't apply to the people that you live with and you share space with, but more so the people that when you go outside, you're going to interact with. So, for example, I might not live with Cleo, but um, if me see Cleo outside from the street, me can go run up in a Cleo face, hey, Cleo, blah, 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 because um, I might be infected. Cleo might be infected. I, 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 I so think I have to give. Me understand, I me understand, me understand why I said totally, but I think, yeah, I think so when, when we start there. When, when, when the government talk about social distancing, they're not um, talking about a household per se. No, so, so some of some of the advertising comes out with 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 give, giving that indication as well. So so for example, um, um, one of the the anchors on CNN he caught the virus, right? So his his family he has a big house and a, with a basement, so him can quarantine in the basement away from the rest of his family. You understand what I'm mean, saying? So no, 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 I think you're going where I was going. In that situation, but if you live in a quad, everybody in the quad at some point is going to get the virus because well, the space is so small and there's nowhere in the quad that you can isolate yourself unless you've got to literally take yourself out of the environment. Okay, no, 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 you go to the next, no, you go to the, 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 the next um, word of importance, self-isolation. Mm-hmm. You can't self isolate in a quad. And so, I agree with you. So, That's so, why so, 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 everybody is going to get the virus so, if you live in a quad. So, 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 think about persons who have paranoid state based on how it is happening now, the euphoria. Within Portmore, they are also thinking about self preservation, wanting to leave the environs. But I'm not. I'm. I'm not supporting. By, by by no means. By, by no means am I supporting them. But I'm putting all factors on the table. No, I, I get it. You're putting the variables out there. All right. But, well, um, well, 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 hold on. Well, 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 we got another call online on the local line. Yeah, all we got right, it. I'm gonna let you go. All right, darling. Thank you so much for, oh, for, <laughs> for taking. All right, call on the four five three. Yes, three you, touch me, you touch me. Spray up, spray your hands, sir. Yeah, all right. Man. Mid, mid. Yes, call on the four five three. Good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night. How you doing? I'm good actually. Good, Marvin. Clear, um, clear this. Really? Um, Shelly this. Oh, it's Shelly. So like Marvin a while ago. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, on, I mean, you <laughs> no, it was Shelley. Okay, you can't do that. Uh, <laughs> None at all. What's up? <laughs> no, clear, you can't do that. My earring have been affected. Sorry. I apologize, Cleo. Yeah. I apologize. My earring is affected. What, my you sight. must apologize without excuse. My, everything is being affected with this thing, my love. <laughs> me feel like I don't know about car, but me lose all my car. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something. Yeah. Uh, or, or should I let you go to your thought first and then I ask you after? Okay, that's all right. You can ask me. <laughs> all right. So last week, uh, since week, I heard you talking with, I believe it was Chungi. Yes. No. Chungi and, and um, probably Muki. I don't remember exactly who, but I know I heard you. And I asked a question. I don't think they got it through in time before you left. 
Okay. What is in place to verify that people who they tell to go quarantine are actually quarantining themselves? Are there any checks? I don't think they have manpower and time to really no. go and check up on people to see if they're really, really quarantining themselves. They are mostly using, mm -hmm. like, phone, but there's no body to guarantee and that persons are self-isolating or quarantining, and that is one of the biggest issues right now. Okay. Because persons are not abiding by the rules set out. The most they will do is make phone calls to find out how the persons are doing, mm. but there's nothing. Thing. Okay. And as Daddy Root said earlier, because we are so cultured, I guess I'm cultured if you said don't do it, them going to do it. Because we're so cultured. They tell the picnic, don't go outside. As you told me about the picnic going outside. But he's not wrong. Mm. <laughs> he is not wrong. No, I'm not saying that he was wrong, you know. I'm just saying, let us not glorify it in a sense. I'm not glorifying it. And, and, and let people believe because we're not cultured no, to, to, to adopt I, and people are not clear, doing what they ought to do. The government a, a point, or the businessmen. A, a point of order, please. Not accepted. <laughs> <laughs> The people are not doing what they're supposed to do as business people and so on, then we are going to. And I'm saying, Shelley, these same people, I'm not when Fed and Musmus still, trust me, you'll be surprised to know how they jump in line and do what they are expected to do at such short notice. No, they'll not. I have to disagree that they will not. And it's the culture. I will agree with that, would, unfortunately. Oh, so you're telling me that when... COVID licks some of them in front of them, face down. Them parents drop out, everybody just drop out in front of them. You're telling me that they won't conform? That's what you're saying? No, but that, by that time, it will be too late. So we're the, talking about the preventative part of it. Exactly. No, they're not conforming to it. If you don't hold them by <coughs> themselves and put them in shackles and handcuffs, they won't. I talk to people overseas, what is it like in your area? The government did not have to tell them to stay home. Some persons did it voluntarily. They stayed home, those who could afford to the others, as the government said. They went, yes, they ordered things, and yes, there was panic buying and all of that took place, not like it did in Jamaica, but you don't have to tell those persons. So, what so wrong with we saw? I saw we cultured differently? Right. What wrong with we saw? No, I've, I've, I've seen videos of there were panic buying. Pockets of persons overseas, from what I have seen that really was trying to go against the grain. Even now they're trying to demonstrate against some of the others that is put in place. But mostly, persons did what they were told. I un something about the culture over there that has people... I don't know if they're more patriotic than anybody else, but I'm telling you, amidst all the chaos that is happening in other countries, persons listen. You know what they have to do in China? They have to get blowtorch. And they had to get a man nail and knock people in their houses because a lot of them would not listen to no. stay in. But Look here, China, country, China, generally speaking, they want different kind of race, you know, in so many ways, you know. They are a communist country. Jamaica is not. So because we are liberal and we have the, this culture of, and people want to put it back to slavery to say because we have to fight for everything that we want to hone, then we feel like it is okay to go against the grain. Now, we know economic reasons and other things might come into in terms of housing and people living in some really, really crude situation where if them turn in and them bed, them turn against them neighbor wall. You understand? Multiple people sharing. They were things. turning the but same way before, on. Shelley. Before COVID, they were all there having a jolly good time enjoying themselves. Why? Because you know, say the place like a lockdown, you, you, you move on. We are on go. Because, put it this way... They're not running because of the, con the, the living conditions. They're running because they don't want to be confined. They're in discipline. I know, it's the, con it's the confinement they're running for. It's not so much their fear of COVID. We can see that they don't have a fear of COVID. Look back in, in Jamaica's culture, how we are. A policeman stuck there on the road. And this is, this is generally known. A policeman say, stop you on the road, and he's about to give you a ticket. And the first thing you want to do is to offer him something. Not to give you the ticket. 
Instead of accepting that, yes, I was stealing and take your ticket and be on your job. Uh, earlier point in discipline. There is a particular business place in Port Antonio that says, if you're not wearing your mask, you are not going to be admitted to conduct business in the place. That, that rule is what you would have called people enforcing certain things for them to act accordingly, yeah? And would you believe that a law, a member of someone who should be upholding the law, walked in there without the mask and was trying to pretty much push his way through? No, we are called that. Right, back to what Daddy Road said. <laughs> That's what it is. That is what it is. It's People just do not care enough about others. And we have this me, 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 Jimmy, Jimmy, having a viral mentality that makes us think about ourselves. Well, Anna, um, Shelly. Yes, sir. And, and, and listeners, them are foreign. On ever, on, on, uh, and listeners, them overseas. You never see one Christmas street yet? You sound muffled. What did you say? I'm saying, I'm saying the, the listeners them over foreign never ask them, may I ask them if they ever witnessed a Christmas street yet? In a they Jamaica. Witness a what? A Christmas street. Christmas street? Yeah, the, yeah, where, 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 where the mayor them normally put on a Christmas street. Oh, okay, Christmas street. Look here, no matter how the people them try, <laughs> this hardly, yeah. this hardly. And unfortunately, it's repeating every year because the person's doing the treat still not putting anything in place to regulate. Yeah, true. And, yes. I, I, and, and that's what I'm saying. We know what we have faced. Put things in place to regulate. I agree with you, Daddy Road. I agree with you. But Finally? No, no, no. I agree with you. I agree with you all along. I'm just saying we're not going to just leave it at that. We're going to also say while things should be put in place, people need to use them senses and common sense too. You never teach certain. You never I, listen. Are you coming that, 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 back that, that, to that, the fact that, that we weren't taught? There are a lot of things I wasn't nah, man. taught. Well, listen, sense and common sense. Growing up and seeing things and learning, me learn them. Come sense on. Sense and common sense have nothing to do with it. It have, it have, it have to do with. Look, me have to come first. Shelly. No one might think I'm more. I want more to come first, and, and I want to do well in all that I do. But guess what? I'm not gonna step on everybody else in front of me just to get there. I'm not doing that. You still allow people to copy off your book. I have, yeah. May I help out my, bro my sister in? So, <laughs> so yeah, your brother's yeah. keeper. Of course. But how much person would I do that? Because, because, because the invigilator go do it. You know, I heard, a yeah, disqualify you or whatever. All right. I heard a lady on the news say that she took up two birds in one supermarket and she felt bad. She put, put back, back one. one. She a good girl. I'm like, wow. If she we were all girl. like that, that we made a point earlier about having a Christmas street. I've emceed occasions where things are given. And anybody feels that them can come push past me not giving it to them. There are certain things me just not going to tolerate. And if it means to me if I go stop, I will stop. And I have done it. I'm not one of those who go make them feel say, oh, you come trample me and trample little pitney and trample because you want you get one already. Go on with your ways and, and let somebody else get one. Don't come in for two, three. I'm not, I don't join those policies. I'm no perfect. Well, I'm a perfectionist sometimes. But I'm no perfect person. But when it come on to that level of like discipline there, I'm not enforcing them. Sorry, I am not. But, um... Um, in my humble opinion, the, the horse has already gotten to the gate and it's galloping and there is absolutely nothing that we can do to hold it back. Galloping like worries. That is my humble opinion. It has already gone bad. That first thing has hit the roof mm. and it's just a wait and see that's going to happen now. So those who have ears... And those St. Saint and Saint well, Catherine people from that call centre are the well, so, don't, so, so, so don't, big, don't, don't discriminate. They don't are discriminate. a set of don't. the big contributors to this problem don't, that we're facing. No, bigger no, 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 don't they discriminate. They are. Don't discriminate. Not, I, not I agree with you. The ones that run away, the, the 112 that cannot be found, and those that are already found are the ones that we have to chastise because... That's what I'm saying. Those mm. who know that... And they may refer to. Those who yeah. know say, them encounter with persons who probably even get that sick right now. The, the, the first and the second case out of... The first case was last week, Friday. And the second case was at a Sunday and Monday somewhere. And there are persons who left St. Catherine before this all big thing came out. 
And you know, other persons that don't have anything to do with the call center that was exposed to the COVID. Exactly. Virus. And, and but the then. concern, the concern about these workers was expressed how many, how many weeks before? And what happened? It was a matter of greed, in my opinion. Anyways. All right, guys, we're going to continue listening. All right, thank you for calling, Shelly, every time. All right, so we're going to go to the box with some <laughs> messages, rather. Let's see what this one says. Daddy Rude, I don't agree with you. None at all. Them supposed to stay home. Them leaving them parish to go somewhere else. Go give others, especially we here in St. Thomas. <laughs> then again, at St. Thomas, at a case now, then you hear is one of the persons that ran from Portmore. So how would that me... Oh, I don't get that part. How would that... Me where I'm staying and in them and them them and them here stay home. I live in Duckensfield. You see? The people them who are take them into them to want some good punishment. Because I couldn't care less who you be. I am not taking you in at this point. After you go run from St. Catherine, come a Portland for come on my house, not my house. Sorry. Not my house. So you say, if me there, if me there, I'm mobile. I'm no, you're not coming. I'm mobile, get hot. You're not coming. You never come back to my yard. Yes, man. Me not nah let you in. I'm sorry. Well, not, you could have been my spouse, well, my mother. You're not coming. Mommy, I love they you, but stay where you forward. are. Come, come, come. Um, These people are ridiculous. They isolate. don't know if their family members have it. You have a house with children and babies, and you're letting in Mary Jane and Sue and Tom Stroke coming at your house. And you don't know what the person could be. There could be an asymptomatic person. That could be a sense man. Um, Lisa, the, the Nepa and animal rights people, they are looking at that matter with the crocodile. The, oh, uh, God. In, in, the, in the city with I the want dog. them to catch them and them catch, them, imprison them, them, them. Them find the brother, man. Them find Good. Him. They said them find him. Come by new since That then. is such a it's a wickedness. Why never train stuff in the, in the water? A rough thing him do for true, man. Rough thing, rough thing, rough thing. Me, me, me a boy, I'm in a light dog. I, I can't fathom all the dog reach. I, I'm trying to figure out what not, happened. Not them lower the dog, man. Yeah, they lower the dog on the water. When the dog, when the dog trying to come out of the water, he, he keeps what, sliding because back. The it, water, because, the because, sand? No, man. I know sand. I, a um, a switch pan. And to design it too steep for him come up. Me now I realize what's going on. Yeah, man. Wicked, and I, 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 I want to see him just leg of the rope. Look here, man. Wicked boy, I them. Yeah, talk where I want to talk. Anyways, Shelly says, until our people begin to see their loved ones dying, there will be no adherence. Real you. thing. The time is now 11 o'clock. It's brought to us by VJ Printing <gasps> Services. Real Talk is sponsored by Nessal. We're soon forward. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266 Church like you never had Church before This Sunday, April 19 From 9 a.m. in the morning To 4 p.m. in the afternoon You can attend church Yes, we're on Styles of Firm Bringing church right into your homes Yes, Styles of Firm Speakers Hello Rob, Pastor Lindsay Raymond, Reverend Lewis, and of course, our great Pastor Robert Bobby Phillips. We're on Styles of Earth. Pull all your Sunday clothes, call your neighbor, tell them to turn up the radio. Let us have church in your yard. Turn in your yard, I worship. I preach, I'm a preach. So make sure you reach. Yes, man, this Sunday, church, where Styles of Earth. When? 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Don't you miss it? Hallelujah! Cool. In a me For the best quality in sound reinforcement and backlining, Native Audio. We have professional engineers with over 20 years of experience. So call us and we'll take care of your parties, wedding receptions, barbecues, conferences and small stage shows. 
crystal clear sound, native audio. Our prices are the best. Call us at 871-5212. That's 871-5212. Native audio. We make your events audible. 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 DJ Prince just touched down in at the airport. A royal day to everyone. It's Chungi with the voice of DJ Prince, your royalty of music selection, represented for my show, your show, Detour, every Saturday night from 8 p.m. to 12 midnight with mixed moves and attitudes. And ladies, don't forget the special Detour hour from 11 to 12 midnight. Styles FM, the world listens. You just gotta tune in. <laughs> Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events, whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Adele Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of Native Broadcasting Network or Styles FM. Welcome back to Real Talk. Oh boy, we're going to go quickly through some of, through some of the WhatsApp messages, um, get your views out there, and then we go into the Vox Pop for tonight, all right? Um, Lisa, hi Lisa, how are you my darling? I trust you're good in Atlanta, Georgia. And to my friend Diane, who's over there as well, her daughter is a nurse. All the very best to you. All the nurses, the, the doctors who are on the front line. Gosh, big ups to you. I forgot to heal you up earlier on tonight. Yeah, man, our prayers and love going out with you, right? Um, I see a video going around in Jamaica of some that? guys with, with doing... Okay, dogs, uh, the alligator mm -hmm. information. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, and that would say that they caught up with, the, with, that, with the, the, that barbaric man who did that and thought it was funny. I'm glad they caught up on them. Full blunt of the law should be administered to those idiots. All right. Um, you're good. Very good to know. Keep it that way, all right? Um, let's see who else is there. What is Shakara saying? Unfortunately, though. Um, uh, uh, let me see. But forget being taught about being a gentleman, but just the mere fact that you need to social distance and be aware of what's happening. Speak explicitly. Six feet away from a person. Daddy Road people adapt for self-preservation. Yes. And those of us who have sense and love life and say more life are adopting. We're not used to it either. Yeah. But you know, you know, you know, you know different than me. You know, no way if you can't try to adopt. At least the mere fact that you try makes a big difference. Yeah. All right, next person up quickly. Uh, who else is there? Cassidy. Uh, on Wednesday, Oren says in Calgary. Uh, on Wednesday in Edmonton, that's the name, a father was out with his three sons in a parking lot riding skateboard, and police give him a $800 ticket <coughs> because he was in a public space and it was empty. That's in, uh, that's in uh, Canada. Yeah. Yeah, can you imagine? Okay, and we here, we live freely, pretty much. All you're getting is just warning to go in and to go in, and people just want and they just decide to so not go in because we're not used to this and we're not okay, that. And listen, how clear, can I something? Clear, hold on, man. You're, you're, you're still not get the thing, you know? No, I get it. If you don't regulate, even in first world countries, if they never have so much cameras watching people and serious about the violators of the regulation, they would have been equally as disruptive or worse than we are. Right? Because, them, because them so, the, the, the government so, and the officials. So, so, yes, so, they so, get so, 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 so the riots and all them, so they were going all over the states and other places in the world. Are people them too. I, but, I, so, so what I'm saying to you, we have failed... Again. Yes, and I can't tell you on here what I've been saying about the ads. Oh, right. Yes. So, don't say it. So I won't. I'm saying that, so look, 
We have, they have a part to play. How I can agree you, with you. How can you spend money for wash market? Take that money there, go buy the sitting for put on the ground, the sticker them on the ground, the, the, the marker them on the ground. So even the persons then we are selling because me feel sorry for the police man them. Oh God. What they we are trying to regulate the people them. Where, yeah. where, where you gonna put them to stand up? When you put the queue gone all the way around pan 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 what are the name? Gideon Avenue. This matter on Gideon Avenue, done suspects about boy people where they, where they in front of the in front of the um, post office, I cut the line. Yeah. Five was in car move from around. So what do you think I'm gonna do? In my left from round and back, go straight up a front and go cause the buckle neck and the sardine lifestyle again. Mm. Because the regulation is not there. So government officials and businessmen, you need to ensure that you do whatever is required in to, the market. to regulate. You wash market today. You are telling me, smart not going there tomorrow, go touch up and feel up, feel up something, you go wash it, you go wash it the next day. It is already a responsibility to keep the market clean. Don't come wash it. What I saw. What I saw, a young man, a, a businessman in Port Antonio did, which I really, really appreciate. A small business owner, um, he sells fruits. And normally, you, you could walk in and, you know, pick up and look and whatever, whatever. He barred off that section. So the moment you come now, you just have to stand to the counter. There's a little counter space, like. Yes. And no flat, you just stand there and order what you want from a distance. Yes. And you're served. And that, that's, yes. that's putting something in place. But get to me, I say, again, clear. The persons who are supposed to regulate yeah, are, are also you. breaking the yeah. rules. Yeah, they are. That's unfortunate. Right? You, have, you, you know, see a queue system for people to go inside the market. You know, see that? Yeah. They need, you, need to get, you need to be a common advisor to some of these people, you know, who are in high positions. No, sir. No, you should. I, I'm, I'm outside of that world. No, you should go back to the world where you can advise people. Because some of these persons who are getting advice, giving advice, me, 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 don't me, seem to be giving me, the right me, advice. Me, me, me read, um, yes, Wilton, Wilton, Wilton in Sinta. Canada says. What's the first part of that saying? What's the first part of that saying? Somewhat. Uh, we, we read that one already. We are very loving. No, I didn't, I didn't read that, Cassidy. We are a loving people. I would like to share. I would like to run up and down. Okay, no. I somewhat agree with Daddy Rude and his opinions. We have never thought certain things, and it's hard for any one of us to break out of certain bad habits. No, 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 no. Don't agree with that. We as Jamaicans have never thought certain things. I was never taught, taught yeah. certain things growing up. You cannot have a system that has already been broken and all of a sudden you expect that same thing to work overnight. Thank you. It is not that they're in discipline. No, they are in discipline too. Or anything that's just the way they have brought up their grown man and woman. You cannot for something of a grown man overnight like that. Oh, please. An adult makes you different. You're an adult. You should be approaching different from no, a child. Fear, also, I know certain places in the U U.S. are doing the same things as Jamaican. I am not making any excuses, any one or the other. But however, give grown people is hard on their custom to doing what they do. I know you changing them to do. Uh, Let's share something right. clear about, about, about regulating and implementing and putting things in place. Today, I'm in front of NCB Bank, right? Daddy says, Daddy, have on him mask. Me, Daddy, have on my me pass and I see him and I have on my mask. But just about to go in the vehicle because I park right in front of NCB. And I say something to Daddy. And the security come outside from inside the company and say, Boy, observe the social distance, please. That is regulating. And when you go to the post office to collect the path program, the path mm. money, so there is nothing on the ground to regulate, but you're told that it's going to go by alphabetical order when isn't that some form of regulation when at what stage was it on day one no no on day one you're told that if your, alf your alphabet is a to whatever come on day one day and, two day and three day, day two, four and right. there are people who, and the who thing name them as z a come on day one whose fault is that because call they want on the they, they want come first jesus call on the four five they want in discipline first. in discipline call on the four five three welcome to real talk Yes, good night. As you talk about indiscipline there. Yes. <laughs> As you talk about indiscipline there, you see? Yes. 
Yeah, I'm lifting you up from that. Say something. And I'm wondering if you, you thought I really got what you're saying. Right? I hear you say that um, when people can, you, you can't use that freedom. You can't use that reverb when people can. You say, you must say if. When people what? When people catch the symptom. Oh, oh, you said you're saying when, like you're predicting that it's going to happen. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so you must say, uh, must say if. Suppose, you know, those terms. As again, say when them catch it. <laughs> I'm not sure what I said entirely. But, 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 but anyway, go ahead. But, 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 but right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Remember saying that? I, 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 no, man, I feel with Jamaica. I, no, what man. I said. I feel with Jamaica. No, no, clear, man. I feel with Jamaica and term, man. I mean, it was a clear can not talk, Pata good, you know. No. I, I don't know what I said in entirety. So I'm not going to accept him saying, Mr. Wayne, what did I say in its entirety? What did I say overall? Don't pick up a piece of what I'm saying and come back and treat no, at me. Uh, Anyways, move on. Move on, then, um, right there. No, you said, you said it's like um, people not. Home, but when they catch it, they must yeah, no apology there. If people yeah. can't hear, if people not hear, and when they catch it, they must stay in the yard and have to in a, in a hospital bed. Yeah, that's what I said. There's no apology there, Bright Eye. Yeah. You can't use that right, man. No, I did. You understand me? If they don't stay home, if they catch it, and when they catch it, they have to stay in the yard. You must hope that people don't catch it. I do hope they don't, but when they don't hear and them catch it, what's going to happen? It's going to be my fault? No, it won't be my fault. But me know. Me, me, me know. Me don't have the money like you can stack up my house with food. I mean, can't stay home for six months. Me not have I am not talking about you and staying home six months. Yeah. If you have to get food, you have to get... So, right here, I stop behaving like you don't have any sense. If you have to get food, you have to get food. I'm talking about people who are on the streets, idly, walking up and down, close to each other, not keeping their distance. I'm not talking about people who buy food. You have to buy food. That's common sense. I'm talking about those people who are disregarding them, disregard what authorities said they must do, they couldn't care less, they're not business, and them the people they may talk about. So if they can't hear and they don't want to do whatever, if and when some of them catch it, because the, the reality is they, are go they might very well get it if they don't hear. Some people are going to get it if they don't hear. So whenever them get it, those who say them can't stay in and then can't this, when those people get it, they're going to have to steer put. That's the point I was making. Well, you're, 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 you're proof of that, man. You're proof of that, man. You're proof of that, man. You, you wouldn't understand, right? I, I understand that you don't understand. Well, yeah, man. Let's have a good night. All right, you too, darling. All right. I guess there are people out there listening who understand the statement. Because I'm not saying that people are going to catch it. I am saying if it is that people who should be listening and understanding what is being said and they choose not to. So if and when, because it, it's really boiling down to an if and when situation, to be honest. Because there are people who don't have it. But they're leaving themselves so careless that they will very well catch it. So they might very well catch it. And if and when those people do catch it, the fact that they can't stay home before, when they do get that thing that some of them working so hard it seems to get, then they're going to have to stay home. I think people understand the context in which I'm saying that. And it's being misconstrued by some, but I do understand that part as well. All right, caller on the 453. Good night, caller. No, I don't know if, you, if, I did, if I said something wrong there, so. No, man, you are covered in strike, my man. No, no. <laughs> May I talk the things them? I'm not saying, do you get what I'm saying um, on a serious note? Uh, Donald? No, I understand what you are saying. Okay. Okay. But here's your master, basically mm -hmm. clear. People will always be people. My man. mother would say that yeah. every time growing up. People are people. Yeah, yeah man. If you have to teach them. You understand? At all times. I have to just done communist. But Donald. 
Nobody have yet. We were cultured a certain way. You and I are from different age ranges, yes. But you were cultured a certain way. I was cultured a certain way. But aren't we still trying to conform? We don't get it right. Yeah. We don't get it perfect. Yeah. But aren't we trying? It is a hard, hard task to get them people who are younger than me and you to conform to anything. Why? Oh, I mean, I know. Remember me telling you that. It is a hard, hard task. Trust you me. want to take it down, you want to take it down, but me not take it down. Thank you. you. The communist thing, just shut it down, lock it down. Exactly. Everybody down the yard, down the yard, get to jail. Exactly. That's the p that is where it's a prime. Yes, I guess it's supposed to go. Bright eye, yeah, Jamaican down. people are of such, and I'm speaking generally now. If some people not get some fire in skin, they don't no want to conform, they don't no want to adjust. Who are hungry and dead, hungry and dead, jar food to give them. I get essential workers, jar food to give them. But lock it down. I agree. And go to everybody yard now, go test them. And when you test them and find them, get one of them big real hotel. Make them go down there, go jump off in a pool and all of them things. That's yeah. the only way to, conform, to, 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 to yes, control the thing, by locking it down. Hotel. And just put all of them in it. Yes. And get essential workers around them. Lock down the place. Comment. Lock it down and lock it down. No, Mr. Prime Minister, please. R Real talk. Thank you, Donald. Yep. Ah, uh, one comment I saw there. If it is that people put themselves in a position to catch it, it's not a matter of if. It's going to be a matter of when. Well said. Thank you very much. All right. Um... <laughs> Thank you very much for that. No apologies. If they can't hear, they will feel. We're moving on to the Vox Pop, guys. Hmm. Okay. Where is it? Remember, the local number is 954. The local number is 876-453-1444. And the overseas number to call tonight is 954-338-7973. All right, so we go to the Vox Pop. And Daddy Road, I don't know why you don't bring it up because my phone is not bringing it up at the moment. Yes, thank you very much, sir. Okay. Remember, say, you scan me, you know? Um, Come here, cough, cough. So. Yes, me, me, I want to put a while ago. You try to go there. Go out there, brother, because I don't know next thing is a boy. I you know? will leave you in the studio. Okay. All right. So remember, don't, don't take WhatsApp calls, guys. Only WhatsApp text messages. And you can call us on the one of the numbers we gave you earlier. All right. No WhatsApp calls. Thank you. Time for shutdown. If there's to be a full shutdown of the country... What impacts are you anticipating this may have on your life? If there's to be a full shutdown, total shutdown of the country, Jamaica, yeah? What impacts are you anticipating this may have on your life? How prepared are you to care for someone within your household if he or she has tested positive for COVID-19? What coping mechanisms can you suggest for people who are not dealing well with COVID-19 pandemic. All right, so we're really, really going to take like 10 minutes on the first part. We're going to take 15 minutes on the second part, if so long, and the other time on the last part. I really wish we could jump to the last part first, but we're going to go in strides, okay? So if there's a full shutdown of the country, what impacts are you anticipating this may have on your life? Now, persons may look at this um, personally, and there are persons who might, might look at it from an economic standpoint. Because there are people out there who, yes, there are people who have their businesses, and their businesses are crumbling as a result of this COVID situation. But there are persons who will tell you straight up, look, controversial total, total lockdown in the country, it will seriously affect my means of livelihood and my earning. The small business owner, the small man on the corner trying, Right? The man who push him on to try to sell something. The lady who have a shop or a retail shop or she try to sell something. And all of that. Yes, so many people will be impacted. And they are already being impacted negatively. Right? Some people are living off a little piece of, a little piece of string holding, on, holding them up right now. 
Uh, hold that thought. We have a caller on the four five three nine five four. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night, Clear. I'm listening to you for a good time now. Yes. This is lovely. Calling from Victoria. All right. Cool. It's clear. When yeah. I when I watch I hear and see all these things that going on with the COVID in Jamaica. Yes. It seems to me like it seems to me like all of you in that part are going to get it. Hmm. Sad. It upset me so much. So and much. I'm so far away from it. It's like I want to push them and say, this is social distance. This is what you call social. Stand over this or stand this or the moon. Yeah. You know, bright eyes should have known better instead of calling you just no one to talk and crap. But everybody mm. has their opinion. Yes, right? ma'am. Yeah, so that's <laughs> it. But trust me, if we try down here, it will work. I think so because other places have tried it and it, you know, it helped. And I'm not it's saying, not. you know, as, as, as you said, that I'm so glad you called because it's not like I'm saying persons who have to go out and get what they need to get. You need to go and get what you have to get. You have to survive. It's survival mode. And but the fittest are the fittest will survive. But what I'm saying is people who really blatantly just not care and can't bother and cho and just want to look flu and not na happen and you know and just disregarding certain little advice that they're getting. Those are the persons I'm really concerned about. Persons who know so they feel flu-like symptoms, they feel kind of sick, what, because they can't bother with the quarantining, and then can't bother to isolate, they never tell nobody, and they just keep it to themselves, and then infecting other people. Yeah, when I used to live in, I used to live there, but I live up at the upper part. I used to live in Mount View, not the middle. Mm -hmm. And when curfew drops, and something talks the curfew, I go drop, you wake up in a curfew. Mm -hmm. And you can't even call to your neighbor next door to say, we're not curfew. You. you couldn't even call to the neighbor because what? I saw a just stand up right at your gate. Yeah. So you just have to do everything inside. Regulation. And now forget, we have curfew three day and three nights. Three up. So whether you did a food, yes or no, that's it. And right now, Jamaica gets a little more civilized. Nobody in a Jamaica don't have one day food in them house. Me don't have to see that to believe it. Yep, me too. Nobody have more than one day food in them house. But them just want to go out, they go spend the last bottom dollar where them have. So they want more bread, want more bread. It's Banana uncertain. is bread, planting is bread, dashing is bread, bread food is bread. It's because of the uncertainty that causes that. Causes that. I can understand the food, you know, and the buying, you know, because there are people who will just, you know, binge buy, just buy, buy, buy. Well, well, I can give and take with that, really and truly. If you have the money you want to spend and buy, put up in your house, fine. But also consider other people too. And at the same time, buying is one thing, but just blatantly being out there, not caring about the the advice that you're getting and the precautions to take. That's where I draw the line. Because I mean, when you put me at risk and put other people at risk, don't do that. And many people are doing that currently. When me come and see, me not stay and never turn back because me don't want it. Exactly. Me not want it because when you can, I want to be a fool. And then knock you down in the bed, you can't get up. Oh, here. God, man. They attack your, 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 your respiratory system. Yeah? We are, we are black your breathing. So tell me something, you Carla. Have two day flu. Just take a two day flu. And, and compare it to that. Me do not want to see Jamaica nurse and doctor and the TV telling me to turn on the yard like what we see happening in New York. I would never like to see that. Me and neither. We are going. Me neither. Exactly. Tell me something. What impact do you think it would have on Jamaicans' life if we were to have a full shutdown? Listen, it's three million people. If we have a what the prime minister should, what my opinion? When the prime minister locked down the airport, he should give Jamaica five days and lock down the country. I agree with you. Because the fact since us is all about the food and your medication, you are going to do the same thing for the same five day like how me never did tell us that never lock it down. 
Give them five days, they go get all them food and medication. And no rush, no they forget it, because Kingston ever busy, Jamaica ever busy in every store and corner shop. And after five days, you lock it down for the, for the 14 days. And then, if, if you want to open a little bit of it, you lock it down again. But it can get worse. Close the borders and lock down the country for a time. And then you, then you re, re, relax that, but keep the borders closed. You can lock down the airport and, 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 and the cruise ship line. Exactly. You make that big decision to lock down the tourists as them say it won't be alone and bring the money. You should have locked down the country because that is locked down the country. Yep. Yep. And it's for the greater good. It's for the you, greater you bring it down good. To, you did say 10 people to funerals in a crowd gathering. Now you bring it to 10. Lock down the country and get rid of this thing out of Jamaica before it reads. Because it, it, I don't know, I just sorry for the poor nurse, them and the doctor. They're going to run out. Yep, sad they to say. They are going to run out of hospital because they're not going to face it. Because if them can't run out in a big, big New York, where's the poor little Jamaica? Them call we did that on the map. It's it's scary. It is scary what seems to be to be looming over it's us. Scary. It's really, really scary. When I, the other day when I look, I see somebody send something on the phone and see all oh, the people them are come out in a traffic from over across the water, come push all over back in the other part of Jamaica. Come on. One person told me that even a bed was on a, on a top of a vehicle. I couldn't believe it. A bed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right, caller. Thank you so much for calling. Okay, clear. You take care. You, you too, my darling. You I too. I'm hoping on the best in my poor little country. Me love it. Me love Same it. Same here. Love it. Love it. And we are trying to pray every day. But the, the, the people at the lowest, the bottom of the bottom, they are the ones who have to do it. All right. Real talk. Okay, clear. Thank you, darling. Um, and I speak strongly because, as she said, you love your country. You really don't want to see what's going on in New York. Anything close to that happening in Jamaica? It is bad enough already. It's going on across the world. Why we wanted to come here, come, come kill we out too? Come on, man. Yeah? Uh, when we come back, guys, from the break, how prepared are you to care for someone in your house who might be tested positive? A very serious and real question. Yeah, when we come back. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. It's now 11.30. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage... Na <laughs> Native Entertainment Stage Audio Lighting. We soon come. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious Digital T. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8 Come, Styles FM. Digital T. Our brain. Look, man. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. If they decide to shut down the place, there's nothing you can do. 
Sometimes it is hard, yes, because there might be stuff that you need and you can't have it. But I see that is the best idea. Because if they don't shut down the place, people keep going around more people and the epidemic spreading more. If you're one of your loved ones have the epidemic, there's no way you can't care for that person, you know, for without proper gear caring for that person, your life is at risk and at danger. Because just breed from just the breath from somebody have it done it done for you. So this virus is no joke. And people seem not to take it seriously. People still think, say, okay, this is a joke matter. And this is a deadly, deadly, deadly case. So if it, if the government are, see it is fit for them, shut down the country, fit the state, fit the of others. I am agreeing with that. Because everywhere else, we recover, then we have to shut down. <laughs> and the rate of how we going down in Jamaica now, people are running from one place, a spread a widespread, they go widespread, and when it widespread a whitewash, you know, go have done this, so guess what? Then better start taking heed and stay in, and stay to themselves. <laughs> As this is not nothing easy or pretty to deal with. It's one of the worst epidemic I ever seen in a history. They said they say and from my perspective and listening, they say this is the worst epidemic ever seen. Well, we may have worse left we come, but for me this are the worst one. So people need to take heed and stay in a tear to protocol. No have them one way because them people you have them one way and I make other people life in that is in jeopardy. Real talk. Real talk it is. Have a caller on the four five three. Good night, caller. Good night, ma'am. Yes, uh, sir. Yeah, old soldier from up in a Yes, I saw J Wagon. Nothing much. Yes, sir. Tell us. Me- if you found someone in your house, learned that someone in your house is test, was tested positive, how would you deal with it? If I, come again, if I... If someone in your household, whether your mom, your child, your spouse, tested positive for COVID, how prepared are you to deal with that, to care for them? What would you do as a measure of ensuring that you preserve them as best as possible, but then you also preserve other people in the house? Well, um, the circumstances where where I am now, I am alone. I am alone. Yes. And I have um, about um, five five bedroom here. Okay. And the one bedroom would I uh, would put them in a one bedroom, and any time they come out, them pay the penalty. Okay. You understand? And they, they will have the bathroom, a bathroom to go with it too. Mm-hmm. So you, you'll ensure that they stay in the room and just bring food yeah. to them, put to the door and give them the food and so on? And, and Yes, until we can get medical help. So wouldn't you, wouldn't you call one of those numbers that you should call if it is that your, family, your girlfriend or your wife has the disease? Wouldn't you make haste to try and call one of those helpline numbers? Certainly, certainly. Okay. In which other way I would be able to deal with it? I'm not a doctor. <laughs> exactly. So you would first of all make that phone call. So you don't believe in hiding your your, your relative. Oh, she I want to call, but I'm going to hide her because I can't, but I feel like a quarantine her. You can't do that. Not, in, not even in this time. Right. If if me sneeze three times, me start fret. Yes. And, and, we, and we used to sneeze before this, this disease come around. Right, right. We used to cough before it come around. Mm. But what I really call for tonight yes. is that we need to speak with one voice as uh, uh, much as possible, one and the same voice. Yes. And we are not in the time now to we, we, we get raised up now with a technical argument and all and something there. Yes. Not technicality, no, not the thing no more. Yes. If the authority says stay at your yard, you stay at your yard. All right. Now, it reaches it reach the stage that 
we might very well hear that the country locked down. I would agree with it. Yes. But here, but here my problem. Mm-hmm. If you lock down one parish and the security forces cannot, cannot prevent people from leaving left, right, and center. Mm-hmm. How you, where are we going to get the security from to deal with, with a, a total lockdown? I think they need to roll out the army. I don't know what they're waiting for. Even then, even then. No, man, this no. Is, it will be a difference, man. Trust me. You will see a difference. Let me tell you something. It's one way. Because even when you roll out the whole army, you literally throw in discipline. <laughs> it's like you literally need a soldier or a police to watch everybody. Mm. Or, or almost everybody. My God. That is where it is. We, too, we, are, too, we are far too in discipline. We are defiant as well. And we just not want to go by no rule and regulation. We can't bother with the confinement and the rules and the this, that, that. We just want to like, do as we please. Like we are than we are. If you can't comfortable in your yard, whose part is you can't go comfortable? <laughs> so if you spend one, two weeks in your yard, you tell me if you can't spend, you, 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 you're uncomfortable? Well, you know, Carla, there are people who are living in some situations that makes it very, very uncomfortable. But then I think that make the most of what you have. Because where else are you going to go? Exactly. Are you yard that? No, you, you, we, you need... The entire force out. But not just the entire force out. You need to issue an order to that force. As Daddy Root said. Then when you issue that order now, you're going to hear, say, well, I was a democratic country and... The and all kind of crap story coming out. Yeah, and it's, it's annoying for true because we are trying to do something. Government at times will try to do some things. And then you hear this one come out. Oh, it's against human rights. And it's against yes. this. Uh, isn't COVID against us? Yeah. So we should be trying to see how well, as a nation, the government officials and the leaders can put yeah. things in place for the greater good of securing everybody. Exactly. If, if, you, if you get the other whiskey, you are the bloody well steer. That's <laughs> the case you have to. Drink yeah. pure water till <laughs> you turn out all your ears and your mouth. Steer your yard. Real talk. Thank you, caller. Where are you calling from? St. Thomas, no? Yes. What? White all man. All right, sir. Be yeah, safe, you hear? Yeah, the world saw you want me to tell you, sir. Yes. And I mean, nobody come on your yard, come talk up to you. No, T- man, me get, me get up my son already. Me tell you, sir, me don't want to see nobody. All right, real talk. <laughs> all right, sir, take care. Okay. All right. Tamika in Orlando says, Cleo, I agree with you. Most Jamaicans don't think rules apply to them, but as the famous Jamaican saying goes, all who can hear, simple. We'll feel. All right. So, back to the Vox Pop, Cassidy. Um, <laughs> it's just sad. It's just sad. It's just sad. It's just sad. Um, how prepared are you to cope, to care for someone in your household if they're tested positive? People who have relatives who are running up and down the place trying to find solace and to find comfort and to find a hiding place. How prepared are you to care for them? Because guess what? When those people come into your household, you know, you have the right to do the, you have the responsibility to do the right thing to try and get care for them. And putting them and hiding, not putting them up and hiding them and no one tell authority that they're sick or show symptoms of this thing. And then they're coughing and sneezing and all these things, cold and running, nose and running, whatever, running eyes. And you put them up. You're not caring for them now, are you? Because they probably get the better care when you tell authorities that this person shows so and so and they need assistance. The, 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 the health sector is already strapped for time, for, for resources, financial resources, for, mon- for, for personal resources. Come on, man. Let us not get this thing spreading far and wide any further than it already is because we won't have the manpower to deal with it. We're clear. We are talking about the individual preparation, right? Because the only thing you hear, you must isolate yourself, stay in our room, 
if you have to go to the bathroom, right, you would be the first one to use the bathroom. Sanitize it, the knob, whatever, retrack a step, and then go back in your room. Mm -hmm. When that person, and if that person then, reaches the state where the lungs start to harden, how do they suggest they tend to your loved one? These are things where we must deal with now. These are the things that we must be within the, 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 the well, media space. But at that point, would they really expect that people at home who are not trained care professionals, healthcare professionals, to deal with lungs collapsing and all these things? So you're going to expect again? No, I'm asking. If it is that you have someone in the house who showing symptoms and they tell you, oh, isolate, and after isolation, a couple of days, your see where it's getting worse. What do you do next? You can't keep them there and care for them. That's the way you answer where your expectation would have been, but I'm saying it is, are you prepared? It means that everybody will listen. Are you prepared? If you deal with somebody in your house, prepared? when you cook them food, how oh, they forget the food? What kind of food they forget? Oh. What we know? We don't know nothing. Right about that. <laughs> we have a caller. Call her on the four five three. Good night. Welcome to Real Talk. Let me see if I can take a two a few minutes and answer that. Please and do. And I'm gonna invite you and others to listen at three p.m. from Monday to Saturday. I try at least once per week to give persons um go another room some some instructions on how they can go about caring for themselves and other loved ones if they should be um, confirmed positive for the COVID-19. So if you are confirmed you have COVID-19, I know you will advise to stay at home and isolate yourself. So quarantine meaning you're in the house, you're not going out in public. And if you go out in public, you'll protect yourself. Quarantine, you stay home. When you're in isolation, you're you should have one room for yourself. Mm -hmm. That room should be well ventilated meaning it have windows and doors and you open those windows and those doors especially during the daytime to allow wind to pass through because the virus then there are people who don't have no isolation space well um if they don't have any at least if you live in two rooms probably everybody has to go catch fan floor or wherever and give that person that one room because you have to find a way to isolate you them from the, the other person um, you observe the symptoms. If the person has fever, you try to control the fever the way we do it. With, um, you use tipping sponges, so you wet around and you use it to cool the, keep the, keep the person at a certain temperature. Uh, you give them fever medicine. So, so if they're having pain, you give them painkillers. However, if you see shortness of breath or any kind of respiratory um, distress coming on, you call the 888 One Love number or your nearest health center Shelly. or your police or somewhere Shelly. for them to come. Yeah? I have a problem with that. Let me tell you why. If it is that I suspect that my relative has this disease and I'm expected to sponge them down, for example, with a fever, mm. by the time them even, before they even reach respiratory problem, me catch disease. No, you protect yourself. Uh, do I have the protective, the relevant protective Ma gears to the do most that? They're going to need, the most they're going to need is mask. May have N, where is where the mask name, Shelly? N95. N95, a cloth mask may have Shelly, where you can go through it. You use that. If you, if you have the right cloth um, mask, then 
It's kind of doing Shelly. Shelly. Me not prepared. Make the government and the nurse then contact them out and get them in the hospital. Because me not prepared. You might very well have to nurse somebody with it. And that's the problem with us in Jamaica. Me not prepared, that sorry. Me not prepared because we run the hospital because free health care there. We not do like people. We not tub on a free health care. Me not want to catch it, Shelly. Me not want to catch it. Shells. Shells. You're in the kitchen. One second, Daddy. You're in the kitchen and you cut your hand with the knife. And the first thing you do, I want to go for hospital with the hand and bleed. No, sir. Me not do that. Me not do that. Me not do that. Yeah, um, what may I say? Me no one the, the rationale for the question is because, just like myself, you know, me not have the know how, how to tend to someone. Exactly. And the, the reason why I raise this, you know, is because we are, we are maybe anticipating there to be a spiral in the outbreak, right? So if that is the case, and let's hope it doesn't happen, there might be a shortage of respirators and beds within our hospital system. A further shortage. That, that happening, it means that uh, we may experience what is happening within the first world countries where they might turn... You know, I hear clear very clearly, and I actually see a strange area. Are that going? Yeah. My clear is very clear, but you know, when I hear it so well. My mic good. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you know, you know my mic up. Hey, what I'm saying is that yeah. What what happening in the first world countries might very well reach us where instead of them turn back people and say you're better off for your yard. Now, how do we deal with a uh, no all right, no answer people now stand up in a line. <laughs> right? May, may I go to the extreme now, you know. <laughs> if people now stand up in a line in a queue and wait till them turn, when that situation, if it ever has to come, Hmm. For you having to care for someone, how? What? What are the steps? <laughs> how are we gonna deal with that? What we can do? We have to. Well, the person. What if the person is too weak to care for themselves? What is going to happen? I mean, and, um, they're not having sharpness of breath yet, but the, the the virus comes with feeling weak. Meaning, all they're doing is coughing, having a fever, and just feeling weak, and don't need the sharpness of breath stage yet. But the week that they are, they're not able to sponge themselves. What are you going to do? Leave them in one room by themselves for rotten? Are you going to try to protect them, putting a mask on their face, so that if they cough, they don't cough on you, and probably put on two layers of, of clothing and put some gloves on, and see what you can do to help their relatives? What I, what I think, <laughs> the, 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 there needs to be an exercise um, via the, the, the media, the press. Um, to demonstrate the to people? To demonstrate some tutorials. Mm. It is necessary. When, you see, what has been happening you know, is a reactive, yes. a reactive approach. As, a, in, in, as opposed to a proactive in, in, one. In, in some instances. And if you would have recognized what I'm suggesting is that look at what has happened and put things in place for ourselves and let's not make that assumption that it never happened to it because true, true, maybe, true. Just maybe, maybe, maybe just maybe maybe just maybe give me a second shells maybe just maybe even those who guide us had a sense of hope that would have led to a little bit of complacence mm -hmm. and where we are where we are today go ahead shells i'm, I'm gonna say something with us you see um, a lot of us have um, access to the internet and God kill we if we would take it to do some research may I go back right to first day and ask a lot of people what do you do when somebody has fever right this is not the first disease that is going to come that you may catch it from someone people can go online and do some little research you understand because let me tell you something I tell you a video just now with a policeman doing temperature in a bus Right? Government has to be careful of those things because the police, if he's not trained in first aid or something like that to ensure that everything comes, <laughs> everything goes. They must tell him what number to look for. See them problem with, at the airport. No, they probably give him something to look at, but he's not a medical personnel. And I'm sure there are lots of practical nurses in the country who know how to take temperature. Same thing happened at the airport. 
the persons who were taking, some of the persons, I should say, who were taking the temperatures weren't medical personnel, right? So you give somebody a sheet of paper with some question to ask. They don't have even tapped out to ask out to get information properly from somebody or how to even figure that the person might be telling, you know, some white lies or something just to say. So it's the same thing. We, the people of Jamaica, better equip with self-power, you know? Because at the end of the day, I talk it and I say it again. Jamaica's healthcare system is a weak fence before COVID-19. And COVID-19 has come. And if you're going to rest very heavily on the weak fence. I don't think that's a, that's a strong way of putting it, Shelley. Clear. It's a very strong way of putting it. Jesus. <laughs> and not a way of a ball. Blue murder, and I'm gonna tell you why. The community spread of it hasn't started. We not blessed more than nobody else. With 163 cases, and I'm gonna give you a simple math to do. When Portland had five cases, and Portland is not a um what they call an urban area so much, right? Only in Portland, so in your town. It's a hot spot, I hear. Yes. Cases, they were looking at a thousand persons. They were actually monitoring 1,000 people. Now, you talk about Portmore mm -mm. and Kingston on St. Andrew, other areas in um, St. Catherine. Yeah, St. Anne overall, yeah. Would you say you would put that five against a thousand or probably put it against two or three thousand? Yeah, oh Jesus. Clearly, there are going to be some numbers to come. Yeah. If it won't come, well, probably Almighty has some mercy, sorry, but we have to break for the worst. Because that that you see in Portmore, there are many more of that should happen from what has been happening around the world. We should see more pockets of people of 20 and 18 and 30 and, and all those numbers popping up in different communities because mm -hmm. seeing around the communities are going through this spreading now. Mm -hmm. So we can either lay down and play dead or put our head in the sand like an ostrich and pretend that we are hiding. I think that we're going to look towards the government who is already burdened. We don't have enough health professionals to use. They don't have enough ventilators. And they don't have enough personal protective equipment. May God have mercy on our soul. And I'm going to leave you all with that. Thank you, ma'am. All right, Putos. Oh, five, seven more minutes before the show ends. Let's see the last part of this Vox spot, please, Cassidy. Um, boils down again to us just not being so defiant as we are and doing what we can to preserve ourselves. What coping mechanisms can you suggest for people who are not dealing well with COVID-19? You know, I have been at home and I've been through psychological, I would say, trauma. I have felt overwhelmed from time to time. I have felt stressed. I have felt depressed momentarily i must say well you know what gets me going when me dig deep and tell myself say i mean that's that's having the confidence look you know i'm not getting this thing you know and it, it might sound a way to you listening but i just said to myself look you know you're not gonna get it and how you're not gonna get it is by trying to see how best you're going to do what you're supposed to do. Mark you, there are people who have been doing what they're supposed to do and they still end up with it. And if I saw, then, you know, I just saw. But one of the things I use is I find there's something called the, your inner strength and a mind, a mind that will tell you, look here, I'm going to preserve and protect myself at all costs. And I'm not going to roll over and I'm not going to die. It is not a death sentence for some people, many of whom have underlining issues, whether their immune system have, have already been compromised, whether it's the diabetes, the hypertension. I'm mean, not trying to scare nobody, but it's just the reality of what they're saying. Um, or you have other issues, you know, other breathing issues, asthma, whatever. There are other issues that could contribute to, 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 to a, a situation. Your the line. Oh, my Jose. Dan Dan. So clear. I was, I, I was, I was listening keenly to, to hear what your response would be if your loved one, your your hobby, uh -huh. your living, your living man, 
come down sick? How what what care would you exact exact for that person? Well, I try the best I can, but I'm afraid. So guess what? I'm gonna try to get the help, the professional help for him, cause I can't manage. Me now say me now go try. Now get me wrong, you know, me we try something. And as she said, okay, mask so, up and try part. a thing, but I am no nurse. Sorry, I'm a teacher. But but uh, obviously uh, you're not gonna abandon him. Absolutely I'm, not. I, I run, I, I answer, driver, don't stop at all. No, don't man. Stop at all. <laughs> okay. No, man. We don't have them the out there. No, eh. We don't have them the out there. I'm going to do the best I can, but like, like I said, fear fear will grip you, yes, and you will not know what to do. But when you see the person in the agony, you really not going to just lift them, so. You're going to try a thing, but I yeah, really, but, really but, kind but of want the professional to come and try a thing still, and not so much me, you know, all the way. Because I'm going to yeah. just freak out one night. I'm a human, too, so I'm going to freak out. But but here, shall I just uh, uh, indicate that um, we are trending towards putting more pressure and pressure on the already fragile health system that's in Jamaica. Well, I forgot to so, do one crash nurse school so, spawn line or something. Yes. Yeah. So, may, so maybe the true answer might lie with you first, and second and third. <laughs> so it might, you know, you, you know, no, no, no. No, 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 joke thing. No, you ask me a question yeah. and I give an honest answer. I don't know what more is expected. <laughs> well, how well, well, how okay. I go forward now might make the whole difference. But you asked a question and I gave an honest answer. When me not talk the mm. truth now, when me not talk up now, no say me not talk, me not talk. When me talk now, no still a bash me. What more do you want from a girl, honey? No, no, no. I not bash me, I bash her. When I say, you know, we probably should pass us this, um, more more internally more more conscientiously yes we because, should um the helpless when the, the helpless is in need at the at a mo- at a most vulnerable time when they're, when they're really helpless yeah and, and that's the time they can't afford to abandon them so, or yeah yeah exactly. exactly well that's why we have this show you know honey that's why we have real talk yeah well you have you just have to know so they, they, i mean in in, in any emergency situation the person who's administering the, um, the emergency care, they must, they must protect themselves first. Yes. So you, uh, you, just, you just don't know if you protect yourself to the best of your ability. But, but at the same time, it would be, <laughs> it would be inhumane. For, Definitely. For, well, you know yes. what? Sometimes we talk the things that we know, but you we're in the situation, some of time a different story, you know, because you'll be surprised to know how I find how kind of plastic this to put on. Ah, uh-huh, get us up put on our face and all these things just to try to administer some care. So, you know, well, when trouble takes you, sometimes pick the short fit you. Well, that's why the question was asked because all of us right now probably need, need, to, need to process what we are going to do if this come. And, 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 and it's not like I said, this is a far uh, possibility. No, it's not. So, so, so now is the time to try process or, or you have thing. Okay, what would you do? Me? Yes. How would you? Me, 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 me that I, I administer care as much as I can. Well, protecting yourself while you're at it. Sure, sure, Real, sure. Real talk. Me can, me, me can abandon my wife and my daughter and my son. And, you know, Real, talk. Like this. Real talk. Real mm. talk. All right, we're out of time. Thank you for calling. I love. Yeah, glad to hear your voice. All right, we are out of time. Take care of your mental health, guys. Corona came upon us like a thief in the night. We got to take care of our mental health. That's one of the biggest. One last caller. You have a minute, caller. We're out of time. Okay. Have a good night. I was listening to Shelly. Yes. And she was saying to get somebody to stay, to help somebody in your house. What I was saying, you have some people depressed. Oh, that person is depressed. I know that is a panic situation to help that person mm. in that situation. No, I'm a practical nurse. I can't deal with it. I can't have my cousin, my brother. He can't deal with it. Yeah. You understand? Yes. Because he don't know the first thing to do. Right. So and what I think about all of this, the shut down the country, man. And as Daddy Road said, you got. To, what's the point you made just now? The last point you made, it's, it just evaded me in a second there. Um, anyways, yes. Yes, go ahead. You said we're to shut down the country, right? Yes. All right. And you think that will help to significantly stop this spread? Yes, because the good will suffer for the bad. Because these people not stop running. 
Yeah. So uh, one community going to knuckle it up and, you know, mm. things going to be so bad. All right. Thank you, darling. Yes, so you take care of yourself. You too, my love. Okay. All right, bye-bye. We're out of time, guys. As we said before, take care of your mental health. Um, ensure that you just prepare yourself for the eventualities and think of what you would do if you're caught in this situation think of the best thing if you don't know ask questions as to what should i do if it is that i'm caught in this situation if i'm faced with this problem how do i deal with it if my family member gets sick and the health care system can't take care of that particular person because they're overwhelmed and crowded what do i do yeah and what mechanisms do i need to have how do i need to process my mind from now in the event that things should get worse god forbid but if it were to happen how do i process it how do i deal with it without going crazy all right so look into that and see how best you can use your mind to overcome psychologically mentally the situation that we are faced with emancipate yourselves right now from this mental COVID slavery. Now make it get the better of you. Now make it drive you crazy. Now make it send your pressure up. Just try to find ways of, and means of staying safe. And while you're staying safe, you're protecting the loved ones and people around you. Jamaica, love you from Real Talk right here. And we go forth in good grace. We go forth with prayer in front of us. And we go forth by faith knowing that we are going to take it as our personal responsibilities to do what we need to do. On behalf of our engineer, Cassidy, my co-host, Daddy Rude, Lady Cleo, saying peace out until next time. Big up my wife for life. I'm a